Ladies and gentlemen, this is Commander Scorpius. Welcome to Sunday. I hope you're having a good time. I hope you can hear me. Yes, you can hear me. I think you can hear me. Can you hear Jan? Say hello, Jan. Hello. Jan is not feeling very Jan well. Is... Jan has Jan the lurgy. Well. Tell me yes. about your lurgy, Jan. What is your lurgy? It's a cold. It's a it's a barking, coughing cold that have... had pain painful ears as well, but they've they've cleared up a little. How have you got a cold? In like some of the warmest weather we've had for a while. How does that work? I, because this is the north. It's not oh, warm yes. in the north. Yes, yeah. The sun doesn't go north of the river. So no, like it that. doesn't. No. <laughs> oh dear, Terracop, how you doing? Oh seven, tragic blue, how you doing? Loot's Pro Seven to you, my friend. Black Knight, how you doing? It's just a flesh wound. I've had worse. Winter me, how you doing, matey? Uh, uh, spooky! How you doing, Spooky? Uh, oh, Alexander Corbin, how are you doing? For the Princess and Starstone. Yes, indeed. Uh, Infwell09, my friends. Uh, if you haven't already seen the video that uh, Infwell put together, put on the channel uh, this week, go and fix that as soon as you uh, get around to it. Um, apart first, how you doing, 70 matey? Joey Motson, 07 to you. How are you doing, mate? And we've also got Beer Wolf Schmidt. How are you doing as well? Good evening, good afternoon, good night. This is, uh, this is the broadcast. And you're all, most of you are all here. Uh, I mean, you're all mostly here. Or, you know, words. Yeah, right. So, mostly. Mostly. Mostly words. So, it may or may not surprise you that today, I haven't got much of a solid plan. Uh, a plan like that's going to take us all the way through the evening. Oh, and Spooky, thank you for the, the subs! 71 months! 71! Uh, that's crazy. I don't know anymore what to think about numbers that large because I can only count to four. Uh, uh, you're not all here. <laughs> it's almost a year. I, I think you'll find... It is almost a year, Spooky. I think you're right. Almost. I think you're not quite there yet, but give it a couple more, 20 or so more months, that'll be almost a year. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, so today, today, I don't know if you've seen um, all the videos, shenanigans and everything, because uh, Frontier last week um, put out a video uh, as part of their Frontier uh, Unlocked thing showing the new ship. It's a new ship. Have you seen it? It looks very interesting. It's a, a total total departure from the it's boxy but it's good designs of the Cobra and so on. Looks really quite nice. And they sent me, and others, others obviously, but they sent me, in particular, a video. Can you see the video, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It is, of course, the Mandalay. So those big engines in that hangar, what big engines are you talking about, Scorb? Oh, person who I've just invented asking questions. These big engines. Oh, those engines. Oh, now we're on the same page. Right, good, good. Glad we're on the same page. Person that I've just invented for the purposes of dramatic exposure. Right, so yes, so they sent a video as well. So here we go. Here's a nice video. Make up whatever music you want in your head as it rotates. I've got the magic roundabout. I don't know about you, but I have the magic roundabout playing in my head as this rotates around. Now, as you can see, it's a really nice ship. And allegedly, it's a medium explorer ship. Dun, dun, dun. A traumatic exposure. Yes, in foil, that's what it is. So... I mean, how you know what's coming next, don't you, right? You know what's coming. So so they sent me a rotating video. What, of course, what else am I going to do? What else am I going to do? Uh, apart from, I put it through some software. Some software I did. I put it through some software because I have stuff that can obviously generate 3D models based on a bunch of images. And what is a rotating uh, video, if not a whole bunch of images? In fact, there's... <laughs> There's 1,200 cameras it generated from this. So as you can see, now 
we can have a look around this and see what it's made of. However, the software that I have is not particularly good at reflections and things. So like, so what we can do is have a look around here and say, oh, that's a nice cockpit you got there, but it didn't handle, it didn't handle the glass. Look at that, we've got dips and things in the glass. Oh, and here's another thing I noticed. Here's another thing, right? And I thought maybe, so see how it says Mandalay there? Mandalay or Mandalay or Mandalay, right? Uh, on the other side, it says Mandalay backwards. It's reversed. <laughs> it says Mandalay backwards. And I thought, no, 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 no. That must be a bug. That must be a bug in the software that I'm using. So, <laughs> oh, I bet it, Mandalay. Oh, I see what you did there. I thought maybe that that is a glitch in the matrix. So I thought, oh, no, I'll play this. I'll play this back and let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Hang on a moment. Magnifier. Enhance. Hang on. Let me uh, Enlarge go. 32 through 36. Yeah. Look. It's backwards. Oh, how, how, do, I get, how do I get this come back? Mandalay oh, that's, that's is, that. is reversed. It's, <laughs> it's flipping reversed. Right. Where's the close down the magnifier program? I have got this quite heavily magnificated. I've lost it now. I've lost the magnifier program. Ah, oh, where is it? Is it? It's here. It's here. All right. Let's stop that. Stop that. Very silly. We're getting very silly. I'm not a replicant. So, so I, but, okay. So I thought, you know, saying as my paid for um, software that I use for this stuff was having such a difficult time at you know, I think it was having problems dealing with reflections and things like that. So as you can see, I mean, it, it did a fairly good job of trying to understand the geometry based on the, uh, it looks like it couldn't even get down there, but the reflections were kicking its ass. It does show the uh, engines fairly nicely, but it didn't get these bad boys. These flip down. I don't know if you've seen this. So uh, I'll just show a couple of images. So we've got this guy, right? So these are the images, these, these are the engines. Hey, Abitech. These are the engines when it's in like flight mode. When it goes into landing mode, they flip down into like VTOL vector thrust um, engines. Look at that, look at that. Rawr. It's beautiful. And from the back, oh, it's beautiful. I love it, I love it. So these, these flop flip down. When I, I'm guessing it's going to be part of the landing gear sequence. Uh, so when we see it landed, note this ship seems tall enough for an SRV to come out of that bay. <laughs> Unlike the Type 8. Bit of an oversight. Bit of an oversight. Dad says, hello, Zgobius. Are you playing C Core Creeper? What's Core Creeper? Am I fuzzy again? What? How am I, how am I getting fuzzy? Not fuzzy. You're all right. I'm not fuzzy. Okay. No. But anyway, anyway, so back to the, I was, okay. So it fixed itself. So back to this, I couldn't quite get a decent image of this. Like, so I, even though it looks all right, I exported this out and I thought I'll clean it up in blender. Oh my goodness. It looks like father Ted has like tried to sort out a few dents with his ball pain hammer. It was even worse than before. Oh, I don't remember that one. <laughs> Oh, it's, where's Sea Dweller? Hey, how you doing, buddy? So I thought, uh, right, so this process to process a, a high resolution um, map, 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 cloud point map of, of all of this, this took, I had to run this overnight and it still wasn't working, still hadn't finished when I uh, started work in the morning. So then I had to go through extra steps and start kicking off another things. So I thought, Oh, that surely, surely we have moved on from from this. Surely we can do it now in a matter of a couple of hours to make a three D model from this. And so I thought I went online, and I I had a look at Polycam. Polycam capture. Which one's this one? This one is Polycam capture, right? This one, right? It made a video, not a video. It made a model. I did the same thing. So I put this online. I sent it the video. And it's like, well, 
I, I'm going to do the 3D photogrammetry, exact same thing that I did with my Agisoft one. Uh, look, again, though, look, it got the problem with the reflections of the glass. It's all a bit... It does say Mandalay on the side. On the other side, of course, it's Mandalay backwards because that's the model. It's not reflective at all. Did it do a better job? I don't know. Oh, it got these engines. It did this okay. It got this bit okay. Although it didn't get underneath the engines because it didn't understand that this is just reflecting the the grey background. But look, so we can. I want to know what these things are. Hang on, let me rotate this around. What are these? These like little protruding, extendy jobs. What are they? Has anyone got any ideas what these might be? Has anybody got any aerospace uh, experience? Um, I think Anything like the Type 8, it's an anchor point for a ship kit. <laughs> oh, maybe. So that's where we're going with all of this, isn't it? It could be, oh, it's a docking port for the ISS. Well, you know, I mean, the, the ones on the Type 8 could be docking ports, but they were anchor points. These, again, could be docking ports. But yeah. I, bet I love points. all the little lights and things that are on here. But yeah, so, so I wanted us to be able to go in and have a look at this in a lot more detail, which we can, obviously. We're looking at the model now in a lot more detail than the video would otherwise allow us to. Obviously, even though this is a 4K video, it's not going to pick out the crisp um, details that that you would be able to if you were looking at the actual geometry, obviously, because it's having to approximate a bunch of stuff. Um, but it looks really nice. But I thought, that is not good enough for my audience. Not good enough at all. Come on, technology. Surely... Surely you could do better. Photogrammetry is supposed to be the tits. What happened? What happened, photogrammetry? I thought you knew what you were doing. And it turns out that photogrammetry, while it is literally, air quotes, the tits, has been superseded of late by another technology. Who has heard of Gaussian splats? Have you heard of Gaussian splats before, Jan? That sounds like a progressive rock band, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? I just imagined Spatula saying, and now, now the latest song from Gaussian Splats. Gaussian Splats, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Again, plug for the, the Tom Cook album, which is fantastic. Sounds like it's something you could see a doctor about. Like, Yo, you got, you got a bad case of Gaussian Splats, Gaussian mate. Splats, right? Here's some cream. Let's see if this did any better with its Gaussian Splats. Right, so look at this, look at this. Oh, there's that transparency. Oh, hang on, let me get closer. Let me get close. Get, come on, let me get let me get closer. You're not helping me. Uh let me use maybe I can wasd my way in. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. So it's almost got transparency. You see where it does? It puts these little like marks, little ellipses which over the point clouds to give an impression oh, see what it's up to. but it gives you reflections because yeah. as it went around and gave you the uh as it as it goes around and, and approximates the what it is it also provides these reflections as it's it really saw them isn't it right so so we get oh, the only problem with this this particular one is um, it's got grey all around it because it saw a load of grey. <laughs> so it's put massive grey splats where where they would be. So if you're in a particular place... Um, it's put it in a cloud. It's put that it in gray. a cloud, yeah. But like, So we can have a look at these engines and stuff. And, and it's pretty damn good. I, I've got um, a thing in um, PhotoSketcher, hmm. which is the thing that I was helping do, you know, the end, end credit things you did, you mm. know, the pictures. Yeah. And, did yeah. and it's it's got um, a similar tool using uh, triangles, overlapping triangles. Yeah. You take an image and it just converts it into loads and loads of overlapping triangles and it comes mm -hmm. up with a very fascinating image. So it's, it's, it's got the same feel as that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. when you get up close, when you get really up close, it, the That's... illusion starts to break apart that, that is literally a 3d concept art 
Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's just a little concept, little, art, 2D drawing. Yeah. Little brush strokes. Just Beautiful. little brush strokes. And so obviously we can't use this in anything. with an airbrush or pastels with your fingers. Hey, Electro Ace, how you doing, mate? That's really cool. Yeah. I like so, that. so I wanted to give us this opportunity to take a look at the new ship in a different light. So obviously none of the none of the videos that anyone else is putting out will will have done this. Obviously not. Uh, they will be taking taking the footage as is. Uh, so I wanted to show you. I wanted to do something a little bit special for you to show you something cool. I hope you find that this is cool. Look at that, like that at this at this range. Yeah. Would you uh, Would you even know that that's just made of lots of little very crispy, rush... very crispy at that is, age, isn't yeah. it? Eh? I mean, how many points is this? Uh... Oh, can we turn off the background? Can, can, uh, uh, can I extract the background? Let's see what happens. No, it won't let me do that. There. Can I yeah. details? So. Let's see, I can't publish this yet because I'm using the free version. Uh, it's only 6.7 meg. And it's used... Uh, and it's you... decided it's vehicle, aircraft, jet, military, flight, speed, aviation. <laughs> From its inner brain. It, yeah, it's worked out that it's a plane. <laughs> Not just any really... plane, but it's speed. It's a speed plane. <laughs> well, yeah. So um, I've seen uh, like comments been made, and I'm sure Frontier have already thought of this because they already thought of the thing with the SLV and the Type 8. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, um, that it, apparently it looks too wide to be a medium ship, to land on a medium pad. And I'm not sure. But wouldn't it be cool if the wings like folded up like like that? Like, like yeah. the... Don't so when it comes any... into land mechanical attachment points on those wings no neither neither do i no. uh unless the whole thing just goes and pyramids uh but when so we we, we saw the pictures I like, like when, sentinel when... ships in no man's sky their wings are weird but this might just be you know it's like the the clipper that's medium ship isn't it um so maybe it's just about as wide as the clipper we have some some blurb on it though if you want to see Right, so this is a document that I got sent by Frontier. I don't think they've said that I can't share this with you and show you. So, what? I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in. What is the name of the ship? The ship is called the Mandalay. Zorgan Peterson tends to use snake-based names. So does everybody! Uh, other than the hauler. <laughs> yeah. We wanted something that re re referenced that. And as the ship is quite close in design to the Mamba, it has the same cockpit as the Mamba. Uh, we went digging for some more suitable snake names and found the Mandalay Spitting Cobra. So it's another cobra. Uh, you'll see a bit of cobra head in the design. We thought this quite fitting without feeling too aggressive as it's very much an exploration ship. How do we decide on the Mandalay as the next ship? Well, so far this year, we've done a, num we've done a combat and trade-based ship. It was a natural choice to give the explorers something next. We wanted to create an exploration ship that had the advantages of the new styling design process we have for these ships. And we're keen on giving the explorers something uh, much more visually, visually appealing and sleeker than the options they've had so far. We think the ship feels very dynamic and is exciting to look at and fly. Which I agree. It looks really nice. Is it a medium ship? Oh, what is the ship size? It's a medium ship. Why would our commanders want to get the Mandalay? Good question. I'm glad you asked, Document. It's going to have a really nice flight model for in Atmo flight. But that also means it's going to be really manoeuvrable in space too, which is what you want as an exploration ship. Of course, it will be very well tuned for SCO2, even more so than the Type 8 and the Python Mark II, and should give the Anaconda some competition when it comes to jump range. Now, this is very, very interesting. So anyone who's flown a Type 8 will know it's, it's just like an, an arrow. You point it in a direction. It has the smallest amount of wibble as as the as the these SCO drive engines um, like barrel through the universe at stupid speeds. Uh, the only thing I guess that you could do to improve on that would be fuel. And then I guess that makes perfect sense for an explorer. You'd want to make the most of your fuel, wouldn't you? 
and your heat. So maybe it, it, maybe it doesn't maybe it wibbles about as much as the Type Eight, but uses less fuel and generates less heat. I'm hoping that this is going to be something we can start engineering our current SEO drives for other ships because at the moment they all duck and dive like a bloody ninja in bushes being chased by tigers. Not that that happens. Um, right, so another neat little touch is that it should have some spotlights that point down towards the ground, which helps our explorers land on the dark side of a planet to see where they are. Lovely. It's normally pitch black when you land. It's like, where am I? And you're also often facing backwards. I don't know if you've noticed that in some of your ships. You're facing the wrong way. Uh, we designed it so the landing ramp is directly facing forward. So this lines up with what you'll see when you come out on foot. We know that explorers like to take a lot of screenshots of their ship. So we wanted to make sure it had a really strong silhouette. So it's going to look amazing in your screenshots. This is perfect, right? What can you say about the Mandalay? About the look of the Mandalay? Oh, we wanted a fairly unique silhouette. Something with a tall body, an underslung carriage. And wanted the silhouette to change as you move about it. Uh, you may see some elephants from one of the Zorgon Peterson sister ships, the Mamba. We've re revisited that aesthetic, but have given it a bit of a refresh. We felt that the Mamba was one of the sleekest ships in the game. Agreed. And we wanted to bring something similar there. And this way, we get to use the awesome cockpit as the Mamba, but which actually works really well for exploration with its unobscured view. Uh, generally, the ships in Elite are long, thin, or big and boxy, but the Mandalay has an interesting form, which we've not done before. We looked at the high-end race car design and how they got an aerodynamic feel, as you'll be spending a lot of time in the ship uh, in light atmosphere, and we wanted to emulate that. So yeah, there's this tenuous atmosphere uh, thing in Elite, so we can't have yet... I'm hoping this is going to come, like water worlds and things like that. I want to be able to go on more planets in the future. But so far, I'm loving this constant progress of new ships. I, I love this. Really cool. Uh, the, for, the flow and form of the ship has a mix of round surfaces and hard edges for definition. This helps separate it from our very round surface Imperial ships and make it feel much more like a Zorgan Peterson ship. We also looked at aviation design again, which you'll notice in things like the panel design and how the wing splits up into pieces as some inspiration from NASA ships with the paneling. They're really thinking about this. This is what I love. That they're, they're not just like chucking some things. That looks cool. They're really, really thinking about this. Uh, what about those engines at the back? Initially, originally, we didn't have the engines like this. They used to be side by side. But we saw some reference from an old plane called the English Electric Lightning. Who remembers that? Beautiful ship. Beautiful plane. Beautiful plane. Which had engines uh, arranged like this. And we thought it would, it would be... Uh, this would be give the ship some really interesting verticality. When can we get it? The Mandalay will be available alongside PowerPlay 2.0 in October. So something to look forward to. October, the Mandalay. What's this? So I've, I've seen this. F navigation, how you doing? Uh, what's this? Uh, cargo or passenger decks? No idea, mate. No idea. But what I'm hoping is that they haven't just like made these all up in like a block and they're like exhausted now, that they've got this constant ball rolling now. Really hope that there's going to be more ships coming because this is what the game has needed for a while. Because if you remember, the Mamba... If you remember, the Mamba was the, first, the the most recent ship until we got the Python Mark II. And there was a long gap. Uh, in fact, the I oh, can't remember who it was who said it. It was in a video that somebody made. But the time difference between us getting the Mamba and the game launching from that point was as long ago. So like, the game had been out for as long as it had been to get a new ship. Now, it's just like a bus, right? You wait for 10 minutes and then three turn up at once. Uh, but there's going to be another one because they said at least four. That's what they said on that original stream. Uh, so I'm hoping this is going to be something that they keep doing because um, one of the great things that, that we're seeing now, uh, um, and I see it as a great thing. Some people don't agree with me and that's perfectly fine. You're allowed your own opinion. You've got... Uh, everyone's got different circumstances and that's 
the way of it. That's just the way of it. Um, but like people getting these as early access ships are putting money into the game, which is great. And then afterwards, if they wait until the ship arrives, they've got great cosmetics already and they're not massively expensive. So you can make your ship look the way you want it to. And I'm seeing this as good stuff and it's helping to put more money into the game so that they can pay these great artists and programmers and designers and give us more and more things. So with Power Play 2.0 coming in, I'm not sure how, how much I will take part in that. I mean, I will, because I want to uh, get my prismatics, don't I? <laughs> but um, I do like that this is happening. I really do like that this is happening. The Lightning Jet is so good looking. Basically, uh, it's, <laughs> it's an IRL Kerbal Space Program Jet. Okay. FDEV clearly doesn't know the F6 was a variant destination, variant. not the F. Oh, they're, they're just. That's, it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. They probably it's, do it's, know. It's just the English Electric Lightning. They just call yeah. it that. N not the Lightning they were speaking of. The Lightning Jet they were speaking of is from the late 50s. Yeah, let's take a look, right? English Electric Lightning. Yes. Now make sure you put lightning and not lighting because English electric lighting would cover up some interesting. This things. guy. <laughs> this is the one. Look at that. That's the one. Yep. Right. So That's it's a. Chap. It's great. This is fast as well. This is really fast. Uh, an got a goodie. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Isn't this the one that um, there was like a mechanic or something, and he was working on it, and then it started going forwards and he couldn't stop it and it took off. Was this? I don't remember. I think click, he... on, click on the F6 at the top there. See what the F6 variant is. The F6, where are we looking? The, the little row of icons across the top there to narrow it down. The F6. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, this has got two. This has got two engines as well. It's more yeah modern version. So it, it's it's the same. It's the same. Just got those those two engines on the back there that look really cool. Yeah, the there you go. Yeah. So, ugliest wings in history um, uh, they look like something out of thunderbirds which i love yeah they're, they're very much thunderbird ones with mm. wings I mean, on. we can't say the same about this though can we this is a beautiful oh no, no very that's, beautiful design that's, that's quite gorgeous sadly we can't see underneath it can't see underneath it because we didn't have any information from underneath it so it's just it's just barbed wire and brambles but on the top it's quite nice quite nice but anyway yes i wanted to show you this i wanted to go through this and like show you like so it's got the vtel engines these these pivot down as you come into land that's brilliant you got these two powerful engines here it's got a very powerful sco drive for tearing space a new one and and it's very pretty for exploration i'd go exploring in this it's very nice what do you all think what do you all think, everybody? It's, it's, it's not a pretty a snake. cinematic bridge, but I'll definitely be going with one of those. I'll be messing with one, certainly. Oh, yeah, I'll totally get it. I yeah. love that we got all these new options. It feels like we've had the same ships forever, and now we've got the new ones, and it's, it's just, we're spoiled for choice again, which is, I mean, for people who've got thousands of hours in the game, you, you're literally, you know, getting one, maybe two. Nice. <laughs> Uh, cause I'd like, uh, oh, I was, um, I was showing, uh, uh, Captain Hooch and the, who remembers Captain Hooch? He used to have a really good, um, YouTube channel where he was reviewing all the ships and he hasn't been playing for quite some time, hardware issue and life and stuff, you know? So, um, so I was showing him the SCO drive of, of this and I showed him the Python Mark II. He'd never seen it. He'd been obviously out of the loop a little bit. Because some people just drop off, don't they? They drop off the game and like they don't, you don't see him for ages. So I, I showed him this, and he's like, "Ooh." <laughs> so who knows? We in the future we may perhaps potentially get some more Captain Hooch videos. Because I, I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoyed those. Oh. Yeah, he was a great guy. Yeah, yeah. Um. So yes. Yeah, so the Python Mark II. Um. What are we going to do today? I haven't got a plan. I have no plan. I was just excited to show you the Mandalay. I was just excited to show you that and like how cool it looks. And uh, it, it kind of came out of nowhere for me because I've been, truth be told, I've been kind of uh, like thinking about lots of other things. Like my job is changing, the um, load of stuff is changing. 
uh, the stuff going on with my ongoing personal circumstances with with you know with my ex misses all sorts of stuff going on and like then suddenly an email drops from frontier like by the way here's the ship I'm like and and i only thought to check that because i've been so busy with so many other things because i saw a burr pit video <laughs> it's like oh what's that ship that looks really nice is that are, are they reviewing a new game this is honestly is what was going through my head it would be like are they reviewing a new game is there a new space game and like it's like no this is an elite it's coming to elite like holy crap that looks amazing i was really blown away uh what's that the older ships need a refresh now the ships look out of place they're not old they're vintage um i mean they they're got to refresh they're all with from honestly. The stable that's the thing they're all from the, the the original design stable they had and that was a blessing and a curse for the designers i think because yeah. it means that they could come up with these iconic things that everyone remembered mm -hmm. and it's all got the same feel but it's chronically limiting because they were based on you know oh yeah five or ten polygon chips but the new ones now they, well they don't have to abide by that at all now they can come up with anything new anything they want now yeah like this one yeah um so but i'm going to switch over to the um to the type 8 because that's now my current uh daily driver i love that ship it's brilliant oh god this is just remember reminded me of last monday's stream <laughs> it's me we're not doing that stuff again okay we're not doing that <laughs> hey Leon, how you doing mate? You had no idea that the Python uh oh about the Python Mark II or the Mandalay. Uh you fell off a leak. Well, well then, well then, uh Le Leon, let me show you something else as well. Python Mark II is a combat ship. Um and then we had the Type 8, uh, which I shall show you now. But well I would if I hadn't got signal lost. No, we're not doing that, Happy. We're not doing that. No, no, no. This is the Type 8, and it's a beautiful ship. Very industrial. Uh, it's got these two arms, and uh, oh, it's just amazing. This feels like something uh, that, that has come out of Star Citizen, truth be told. Oh, and obviously, Star Citizen has a level of fidelity, which is supposed to survive on foot a lot more. But when you're flying spaceships around... Oh, it's pronounced Len. That's fine. No, no problem, mate. Oh, it's two L's, isn't it? That's, uh, I thought it was an I. It's two L's. Is it Welsh then? Is that a Welsh name? It makes it makes it look like it's from Lego. Yeah, hey, oh, check this out, Ray. Uh, I'm going to launch. Right, check this out, right? Look at this. The engines are going to move. Look at that! Look at that! And then the those wings they moved as well, they moved. Uh, so so if, let, if you haven't seen this, oh it's not Welsh, it's just a choice in spelling. Okay, no problem, no problem. Like it's, it's, it's unique. Don't regret it. Oh I, yeah yeah no it's fun. It's a great name. Right, so let's get out of here and I'll line up with planet. If you haven't seen these ships, then it might be that you haven't also seen the super duper drive which I shall show you. Because the Super Duper Drive is game-changing. Right? It's literally game-changing. Let me uh, get out of, out of here a little bit. Come on. Get out of the mass lock. I'm mass locked with the fleet carrier. Alright, now I'm not. Alright, so let's go. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Right, so I'm going to stop the ship. I'm going to position myself away from the planet. Right. Da, da, da. Right, so let's see if I can get myself in a nice position. See that big planet? See that? Look at the size of that planet. Right? That's a big old planet in it. So I'm going to lock this here. So now if I pull up. At that let's let's have it like that right 
Uh, and thanks, Len, for the follow. Watch this, right? So we're in Super Cruise already. We're already able to do decent speed, right? And we're going to start moving forwards. No, I'm not, because it's camera mode, so I'm backwards. Look at that. Okay, so now this is normal. This is the normal speed that we would go. I think we could do better. How about that? How about that, Apples? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does drink fuel. <laughs> it drinks the fuel. But if you need to get from one place in the solar system to another, like, where where is Daisy its main star right now? Lock the desk. Yeah, it's there. It's 12,000 light seconds away. All the, that's only, it was only a few seconds. Right, let's, let's, let's try that again. Oh, the Hutton run now, you can do it in 20 minutes. <laughs> we have to put tons of fuel tanks in your ship because this is like, it's, it's like got, got the, the this, and then you, I'm going to need this as well. Glug, 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 and this, like, it's like, oh, getting a bit hot, getting a bit hot. And then you just ping out a heat sink. Right, for some more. <laughs> show the drift. Okay, I'll show you the drift because the Python Mark II has got a bit of drift as it's going bonkers speed. Watch this. Right, we'll go forwards. We'll go forwards. 25 minutes and 30 seconds. Damn, it used to take like 90 minutes. Ready? Ready? This is the drift. We're currently a thousand times the speed of light. Two thousand times the speed of light. <laughs> Three thousand times the speed of light. <laughs> Oh, I uh, might have to pop out a heat sink. Four and a half times! Four and a half thousand times the speed of light! Um, I haven't got enough fuel to get back. Let me, let me, uh... Yeah, two months. Right, um, we might not have enough petrol to get back. Oh, it's now right. 78,000 light seconds away. You've probably got enough to jump to the next system and then jump back. Oh, that's a good point, actually. That's a good point. That would be easier. It takes less fuel to jump to another system and back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do that. But but yes, so that's the um, that's the SCO drive. So Super Cruise Overdrive. Uh, it's something that I mentioned, although I'm not going to claim credit for it, but I did mention this to Sandra Samarco at a LaveCon. Yeah! to go and he was like oh no we can't possibly do that it's like oh you'd light up you show up like a christmas tree and like i was like yeah but i mean what if you could just turn the safeties off and like because i had further ideas like what about uh turn off the safeties and gravity slingshotting and stuff like that i do have a scoop yes of course i do i mean what did you take before <laughs> Right, so yes, so it's easier to jump back and go and refuel. But yeah, so you, if anyone who's been out of the game for um, an amount of time, just let me know if there's anything you want to get caught up on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some petrol while I'm here. Uh, just ask the questions, more than happy to answer any questions you have. And if I don't know the answer, chat does. So it's not the, so we'll just nom in that much fuel. <laughs> I just let this one just nom in some things. We've taken this Type 8 out as a mining ship, and I think it's pretty good. Um, I don't know if it outdoes the normal Python, but um, certainly for the SCO, uh, it beats a normal Python for SCO travel because all the other ships with SCO, they're not quite built for it. So they go... Um, uh, you've been out of the game as Rax have been found yet. No, Luke, like Rax has not been found. Odd that. <laughs> oh, dear. So, um, yes, so another thing that's happened this week is, um, or last week, I released a, a new video. Um, so, courtesy of Inf Whale, did a brilliant job um, with the footage for that, and I put a piece of music together for it. I played the music on Monday, but like we got everything together, all the everything lined up. 
and I, I put the video out, I think it was Wednesday. Uh, I'll admit I've avoided re-entering the game because I have a totally different setup than I used to. Twin BKBs instead of the X52. And Toby Eye Tracker now. Go to get my binds right. Uh, Toby Eye Tracker. Mine is not plugged in. Okay. I do have one over there, but I, I normally have to turn it off. Have you missed something basic again? Oh, uh, turning off the safeties isn't a thing, but I wanted it to be a thing so you could gravity slingshot. So, but um, they did put this in and people have been asking for like micro warp drives and kind of stuff for ages. You know, give them the fast travel, have some drawback. You know, it's going to overheat your ship and it's going to, you know, use a load of fuel. Yeah, you can tweak the uh, settings for your Toby, as you well know. Um, I've not got mine quite right yet. I'm, I'm used to using VR for it, uh, as opposed to the Toby. Right, let's go back to the thing. And, oh, I did want to put in a um, SRV bay in here to see what this was like. Because apparently, apparently... Uh, this doesn't deal with SRVs particularly well. Uh, you've used gravity braking for ages. Uh, yeah, you can you can use gravity braking, but I'm thinking slingshot off uh, at even higher velocities by um, using the the force of gravity as well to, to catapult you up. Right, it's only 400 light seconds away. I'm not going to risk using the SCO because I will just overshoot. The temptation is so great. <laughs> the real trick is uh, deselecting your destination, uncap the, your desk. I'm rubbish at that. I, I, there, there, I don't think there's a button to select nothing, is there? So you have to select something else. Uh, was that the demiser of D? Yeah, I think there is a. Just you just got, oh you just got to look off an empty space and hit target. Okay. I don't think I, I don't think I've got my target, just what's in front of me button to set to anything. That I mean that that's a mistake on my part. Let's go to the station and see if I can put an SRV bay in this and see what the problem is all about. Uh, the real question, how would you suggest finding a group of friends to play with? Uh, one thing you could do is to go to the Brobar Discord and see if anybody wants to play. Uh, that way. Uh, there's also the Pilot's Lounge Discord where there's always a load of um, people um, who are playing. So you can go check there. I don't know if we've got a link to the Pilot's Lounge Discord. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not going to uh, a thingy. Of course, another thing we could do is build a Type 10 um, AFK um, <laughs> mining ship. Not mining, but like uh, you could just leave an AFK leave an AFK Type 10 in a belt and farming um, NPCs, and it'll just kill them all. A new pilot's initiative. I don't know that one. An AX type 10. I'm not very good at AX stuff. It's not my forte. I leave that for others. Like, um, so like Brother Sabathius, he's really good at that. I'm rubbish at it. I think I managed to kill one Dargoid and then it, uh, then I died by melting. So it was, it was a short lived victory. Hey, Mark Gamer. Ain't it great a couple of hours? Max the manufacturing bins. I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that yet. I'm so bad. Uh, those. Let's take a look then. See if we can find a high grade emission. Oh, should we do that now? Where do we find those? Where do we find those high grade emission sites? Is there a good place to find them? Is there a good system? Because if you know of one, we'll just go straight there. I mean, I, I'm not a fan of high population systems more commonly tell you what I could do. Inara's good start. I was asking you. <laughs> uh, 
Let's see. Any system in, in boom or investment? That's good to know as well. Because uh, if you want the um, the data stuff, don't you go to a famine system? Are there any fam famine systems anymore? Right, let's... I might put in a wake scanner. Yeah, so, so I, I mean, I used to do that, but I haven't seen one for ages. Oh, let's have this nice and lined up with the thing, and we'll go... Whoop. We'll have it just line itself up. Okay, I'll have a look at that. Oh, not my best work here. Not my best work at all. Normally a lot better with the camera. <laughs> What's that? Farming brain trees isn't bad at all. I don't like farming uh, the sites like the, the Crash Anaconda, or especially I don't like farming the uh, Jameson Crash site. Hey Gamatag, how are you doing? Is there any news on the day the Mandalay will be released? October is all they're saying so far. They're just saying October. Um, so and it will launch at the same time as the PowerPlay 2.0 update. So that's all they're saying at the moment. But if you want to take a look at the Mandalay, um, I have a uh like I was shown earlier on, a Gaussian splat render of it. So you can take a look, and it's really nice. So we can have a look at this and it's quite pretty although it has lots of gray behind it because it doesn't know the difference between the, the ship and the cloud of gray points <laughs> which is quite bizarre and Stephen, Stephen Kroll how are you doing uh there is a site yeah it does look good far away oh sounds sounds so far away yes like right, so let's let's go to ED Galaxy and take a look so ED Galaxy dun 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 and why am I on caps up? The tool suite for commanders. Okay. I don't think I've... Have I been here? I don't know if I've been here. Uh, so, let's see. Do, 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 do. If I... Hey, HGE finder. Um, What are you looking for? I'm looking for... Let's go to... Let's go here. The first one. How far is Anu? Anu? Let's see if we can find Anu. Uh, I'm really tired of the DBX and the aspects for exploring. Yeah, so this is going to be great. She's going to get the new one. Um, I don't know if it will arrive. Yeah, I think it's going to be October. I think that's that's all we got. Uh, let's see. What should I do? What should I do? Probably Python then. So these materials. So do I have to pick them up? these high-grade emissions. So should I just take something that can go pick things up? I mean, what we're looking at here. So they're just floating around, something with collect limpets. Is that what I'm doing? Take limpets. You might need a scanner thingy as well. What kind of scanner thingy? Uh, let's see what we can get. Can we fit the limpet controller in here? Let's see what we got. A wibbly one. One that goes wibbly woo. Wibbly woo. Uh, use an SEO drive. Yes, I'm going to take the Type A. That would be cool, Gamma Tag. Uh, change the UI uh, depending on the manufacturer. Uh, I mean, I'm for goodness sake, Star Citizen have been doing that for ages. There's, I think there's there's nothing wrong with having different manufacturers have a different, uh, at least a different theme. I mean, it might be Pilots Federation software, but you'd think that they would have their own theme. Uh, you will only need to go to one HGE. Jan says, scoop them, you lazy sort. Now I'm not scooping them up manually. Goodness me. Goodness me. 
Right, let's get let's change this cargo rack and put That's in That's true. I, I I do do a lot of manual scooping. I ain't doing that. I'm not do no. No, no, no. Right, uh, I'll get a collect Olympic controller. Let's get oh, they have they not got it here. Uh why have they not got it here? Where, where am I? I'm in data tits. I'm in Daisy Tits. Oh, it's class four. Why is it five? Where did I land? Just jibber jabbering. I am in. Hang on a minute. I am. Ellis Gateway, this is it. Oh, I bet it's on the fleet carrier. I bet that's it. I bet it's on the. It's in Daisy Tits. Yes, but it's not at Ellis Gateway, is it? Um, Commander Arson about decent collector controller so you can launch three plus limpets. Uh, yes, I think I'm going to. Oh, uh, they haven't got the collect limpet controllers here, so I'm going to go over to Sonuma because they'll have them. I'll do it all there. You don't get the the size four controllers. They, they don't have those, do they? You want two size fives? My God. I had six collectors out there, H. She's silly watching the bin fill up so fast. I've this I gotta see. I wanna I wanna see this. This is gonna be cool. Yes, manual scooping. So yes, I love the name Arson about. That's fantastic. And thanks for the for the follow there, Gamma Tag. Let us get out of here. We'll go to Sonoma. It's and Sonoma's not special. It's just the closest um, high tech system um, that we got here. A seven A universal controller is the best. Yeah, but that uses up my my big slots, isn't it? A 7A Universal soon collects them all. Am I in the wrong ship for this? Should I take a Type 9? <laughs> oh, right, yes, of course, I'm going backwards. Because the camera's sweet. Of course I'm going backwards. The Type 8 will do it fine. Okie dokie. Alright, well, we'll go to Sonoma and pick up whatever we can. If they've got the universal, um, then fine. Let's go to the station. Blah, 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 blah. I don't need fuel scoop. I don't need no fuel scoop. Where are you, station? I can't remember the station being so far away. I don't remember being so far away. There we are. Oh, it's only 6,000 light seconds. That should take me ages. No, it won't. Oh, and asking about thank you for the follow. Oh, I could have held on for a little bit longer there. <laughs> All right, we're getting close. We're getting close. Yeah, if you want to know about a decent VKB setup, I think you want to talk to Rini at the Burr Pit, because uh, that's what she uses. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to end up. I have no idea. Like, it's probably going to go horribly wrong. I'll be the only commander to actually die doing this. All you had to do is go and scoop some stuff up, 
I've never seen anyone's collect Olympics gang up on them before. I didn't blow up your hap tea. <laughs> uh, this is, this is, it's, it's, I can see, I, I've got this premonition, like skill, apparently. I see the future. This is all going to go wrong. But it will be nice getting the um, Elite Dangerous Revenge of the Limpets popcorn sold separately. <laughs> yes. It's, I th what if there's an actual achievement for that? That would be really funny if there was a Steam achievement for being killed by your own limpets. Oh, come on. Come on. You can do this. Get a bit closer. That's how you open the portal for Raxler. Ah. ah. Manticore knew the whole time. Right, land for me, spaceship. So I do land myself. I just can't be bothered right now because I want to catch up with chat and see if anyone wants to say anything, got any ideas. Uh, so the art of the X, this exercise is just to arrive at HGE with a decent limpet controller and more importantly, some limpets. I mean, I mean, what do you mean? Whoever does that and turns up without limpets. I mean, I never do that. Ever. Chat will confirm. Even though the signs all over the station, don't forget your limpets. I'm like, oops. So there I am, just uh just making some synthesizing limpets in space. No one forgets them. Absolutely no one forgets them. It's all a conspiracy. Some kind of psyop. Echo Sparks, how you doing, mate? All right, let's see if we can get a decent-sized Olympic controller in here, then. Yeah, so it'd be quite cool if I can get this set up for this. Currently, it's set up on... It's just its base. Um, buttery biscuit base um, configuration. All right, so if I go to my optional internal, my size seven is currently a cargo rack. So if I change that, sell that, I've got no storage. And hopefully here, hopefully, where's the Olympic, where's the combo Olympic controller jobs? Are they all in Olympic? Uh, this is just collectors. Why would I want a um, universal? Limpet controller. I don't think they've got them here. We went through this um, last week, week before, didn't we? Chat, I'll tell you, I can't. My voice is up to tonight. <laughs> but there aren't other kinds of limpets that I need, are those? I only need the collectors for this. Right, so... so... No, you, you just need collectors for scooping up materials. Right, I'll, I'll just grab the 7A. C7 has eight collectors. Ah, that's why... So where is the you seven? Probably only need a two. Oh no! Right, no, no, no. See, because like um, four active limpets here. C seven collector only has four. The universal has eight, which is. Oh, Jan's got a cold. So where do I get a universal one from? Mm, in Ara. Are elite. Captain T, how you doing? Yes, I want a multi limpet collector. I've got to find out where and get one, to be honest. Uh, universal limpet controller. Multi. Jameson's isn't that far. One there, scroll down. What? 
Is there? Did I? Uh, how did I miss that? Multi lip. They haven't got the size seven though. They've only got the. They got to three. I'll just pop over to Jameson's. Sod it. Just sod it. We'll just go there. Rig it out for what we need. In the end of the day, the the job we're doing is more important than where we're doing the job. And it won't take long to get to day to uh, Shinrata. Lake on Type 8. So, like, they've got the adverts for the Lake on Type 8 now in the stations as well. Let's go! And we'll go to Shinrata Desra. Home of the elite. Shin. That's oh, fine. It's fine. We got this. I do need to. I want to get all the mats and everything. So I want to start engineering some things uh, because it's always been the thing that's been um, the that stopped me from doing a lot of the things. It's uh, the fact that I need materials and I hate getting them. I really, really dislike having to go and get them. Jack Havoc, how are you doing, matey? Do you mind if I just take a seat over there? Don't mind me. I'm just from the Association Against Misuse of Limpets by Muppets. Don't mind those forms and pictures I'm taking. Um, I wasn't going to ask. I thought you're just doing your homework and you just come here to chill out. It's fine. We're not misusing limpets. Honest. Promise. Scout's Honor. <laughs> is that Scout's Honor or is that just a... Uh... Um, what's his name? Um, Benny Hill. <laughs> Let's go get some petrol, and then we'll go to the next one. Uh, out of morbid curiosity, has anyone actually stayed in Super Cruise to see if it does actually take days to get to the next system? Somebody did, and there was nothing there. Early, early game, someone went to... There was two systems that were moderately close to each other and they flew from one to the other and it took ages and the next system didn't load in because it needs the, the witch space thing to actually load in the system so sadly while you can make it i think you'd run out of fuel first not well obviously not using seo but um they were really close these systems that's the only way that it would work But somebody did it. I seem to remember years and years and years ago. I was doing a rimmer. That, that's the rimmer salute, isn't it? But here's the thing. I can't remember where I got that information from. So I would advise you to do a, a Google search. I think someone did it but I can't remember where I got that knowledge from. And it might be out of date. They might have changed the game since, so you can do it. So that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? If it unloaded the previous system and started loading the next closest system in the background. I imagine that, uh, I think technically it would be quite difficult. I know years ago someone took a sideline to Sag A. Oh, right, so it was Down to Earth Astronomy did a video on it. Thanks. Uh, to pop her up. Yes, thank you for that. Uh, so Down to Earth Astronomy now has stepped away from Elite Dangerous and now is focusing on its actual astronomy stuff. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? Yeah, you raided me a while back when I was AFK, but I appreciate it. Oh, mate, that's all right. Uh, that's that's perfectly fine because like sometimes like I I have an AFK thing from time to time when I'm going for a bio break, and it's it is perfectly fine. Uh, I think I friended you as well, so you'll be on my list uh, if if you're playing elite, and I might send people over to you again. You never know. <laughs> but thank you for letting me know. That's that's also really kind. 
Right, we're not far. Three more jumps. Fairly sure that Frontier said it's not possible, it's instance. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I think that's why you could get to the coordinates, but it didn't load in. Oh, you don't play Elite, but what were you playing then? I can't, because like, I do all sorts of things. Uh, no Man's Sky, Star Citizen, um, other games as well. <laughs> Depends on the day, like Wednesdays, although I haven't done it for a few weeks, we normally play like a random game, uh, something short that we can have a bit of fun with. And on Super Bunny Man. Uh that game. Super bloody bunny man. <laughs> I am scarred from that game. It is fun though. Uh you so what's that? You said from from uh, when Odyssey dropped. I've been trying to cons consistently get back into it over the last two months. Yeah, Odyssey burnt quite a few people, to be honest. There was a there was a couple of things that went wrong that kind of drew people away. Uh, one was the consoles being dropped. They couldn't handle Odyssey. There, there was no way that they could optimize the Cobra engine in order to get it to run up Odyssey. And it's a real shame. It's a real shame because uh, I miss having my console brothers and sisters um around as well because for one it's more people to play with and another it's more viewers of videos and watchers of streams and stuff you know goblin cleanup yes we were playing goblin cleanup as well that's it it was a wednesday stream goblin cleanup is a lot of fun we uh we, we were having a blast playing that it was really funny you got a question more question. A17, gentlemen. What is my control preferences for flight? HOTAS or HOSAS? HOSAS or HOTAS? HOTAS. Um, I, uh, even though my my left hand doesn't do that much apart from the, the throttle, I don't think I'd be able to handle HOSAS. So for those who don't know, HOTAS is hands on throttle and stick. HOSAS is hands on stick and stick. So you'd have two joysticks. Um, so I hotas for now. Melt of snowflakes, how are you doing? All I want is to be able to walk in stations around my ship. I was not looking for the full ground. You're the, a lot of people are in the same boat with that. A lot of people. Um, and I really hope, I really hope that Frontier revisit this and allow a DLC um, that lets you walk around the inter interiors of your ships. Because I know for a fact that people who play Star Citizen enjoy that specifically because it makes it feel like you're in something and when you're traveling you're not just in the seats you can get up walk about you feel vulnerable but you're also in your ship you can talk to your friends and go hang out and do stuff it's cool it's a cool thing uh, if I can manage uh, to get you to a host ass, I'm sure you can maybe maybe I'd, I'd have to see I'd have to see. I'm, I, I might, I might be able to plug one in here and have my throttle over here. I don't, the game is the 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 commander in down like down here. Oh, hang on. Oh yeah, that's that's not working, is it? Uh, so this guy, this guy, he's using Hotas. So throttle, joystick. So, so when you're in VR, that's a. Um, you know, it, it's quite a big thing. What's that? What's that? What's that? What have I missed? You'll not be able to walk around my little ship, uh, <laughs> ship box ship and Star Citizen. It's brilliant. It is so good. And the thing, thing of like, um, you know, when you go do one of these missions at the top of the towers in, um, where is it? Um, what's the Cloud City called? I've forgotten its name now. But anyway, you got these floating, um, structures with buildings on them orison thank you that's the one yeah so when you're f you, so you fill your ship full of friends and you go and you say right i'm gonna we'll get, let's go there we'll drop you off at the top and we'll land at the bottom because we'll we'll go all the way through or vice versa you've got like we'll drop you off at the bottom and i'll come and pick you up at the top it really feels um it oh nice that's really cool we can see you on my channel. We can see you, my channel? Question? I have my girlfriend here. She is beautiful. But she has a husband and I can't marry her. Um, right. That's tricky. 
don't know what to say about that. Anyway, uh, fine axis control for precision maneuvers. I mean, it might be really useful for camera control as well. Because, like, I don't know if you've noticed, but when I'm, like, doing filming outside... So if I use this outside, right, uh, and I, I switch to this, I have to use, on my, on my throttle, you've got the directional um, joysticks, but they're digital. They're... So... As you'll see if I bring out the joystick jobby. So it's only ever. See the red arrows just up there? This this is the throttle hat, and I use this for, for moving my camera around. Uh which which means I can't precisely do things. But it's yeah, it's good enough for government work. You just wanted to tell I love her. Ah, Well, he loves you. And that's a beautiful thing. Love is precious. It's the one thing that uh, we don't get enough of in this world. I gotta hydrate! Oh my goodness. Okay, I will hydrate. Uh, <laughs> I forgot how to use the cameras while I was out in the black. I think I will relearn it. Uh, yes, very useful, especially um, yeah, if you want to if you want to get those coveted um, stellar screenshots mentions. Um, that they you know you need to be able to position the camera set your focal length get the right amount of dutch angle <laughs> all of that stuff uh let me uh i'm terrible at taking the pictures though like i'm always amazed by the things that people find and then they then we see them all and they're beautiful so how did they get that shot and there's some people who are consistently amazing at getting beautiful shots and i'm like how how are you doing that? <laughs> how how do you make Elite look so damn good? I mean, obviously Elite looks good, but how do you make it look so much better than without filters as well? A lot of the times. All right, let's get the to Jameson's. You used to be good, but you're not great. I think that's the thing. Like, there's there's a few there's a few um, people who are really good at it. like Orange Phoenix. Um, is is really good at it. Right, let us say, let's go over here and land at Jameson, and I'll put in try typing Dutch angle into Google. I'm <laughs> gone a minute. I'm gone a minute. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. This this would better not be rude. You know what Dutch angle is? You make movies. Yeah, I know. I was I was thinking that Google <laughs> might actually make this page like go at a forty five degree. <laughs> what like I, barrel yeah, roll? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, because it does that, doesn't it? I yeah, think it still does. Okay, yeah. so do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Uh... There you go. <laughs> I thought yeah. it would do something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it would do something along those lines. It would touch angle your Google for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it says scroll down, you see the angle has changed. There you go. All right. It does, apparently. Oh, I didn't see that. So I'm, I'm just trying to land at Shin. I'll have another look at that in a bit. <laughs> I've just put it into mine. Yes, I can see it's, it's off by about five degrees at the top. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to try that again now. Damn it, I was too quick to, to click away. <laughs> just All a right. little bit. Head at an angle there. <laughs> All right, I'll, uh, I'll have another look. As soon as you get close enough. There you go. All right, so it's coming in for an auto land. Let's have a let's let's have another look at that. Dutch angle. You are approved for automated docking. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's search for it again. Oh, it's at a slight angle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, I, I did yeah. not expect that. Did not expect that. That that is an incredibly obscure reference there, Melter. Unfortunately, I know exactly what you mean because my granddad had one of those for a while. <laughs> the old variomatic transmissions in the DAP. <laughs> what? What? Landing gear deployed. <laughs> oh dear. Right. 
So, yeah, so we're landing. We're going to fit the the Uber see, collection see, controller. DAF, DAF was a Dutch car company, you see, from Eindhoven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> what, like Leyland Daff? No, it was just no. Daff. What? Oh, I don't know. That's all oh, right. So, okay. Their constant velocity transmission. That's what CVT is, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So you don't need a. Anyway, anyway, uh, anyway. Continuously variable transmission. That too. And then also crayons, uh, volume, tetrahydro. Uh, their, their vehicles may not look it, but a lot of them were designed by Michelotti. It's, uh, Who? Giovanni, Mich <laughs> Giovanni Michelotti. He, he worked for Ferrari and Lancia and Maserati and all of that. And then he also worked for DAF. And, right. Made car designs that didn't really <laughs> any of the RC design of the others. Oh, Volvo bought them. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. Ah, uh, apparently we've got to leave the Dutch out of it, please. Okay, loot. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that reference was just so obscure. Even people that understood it were confused. confused. <laughs> <laughs> Constipated Voltango, thank you, Sea Dweller. Ten out of ten <laughs> for the obscure reference there, Milton. Well done. All right, I'm going to go with a seven eight. Oh wow, yeah, <laughs> eight limpets. That's cool. Why would anyone get a normal one? I don't know. People getting normal ones. <laughs> and this does it all. Okay, so uh, how much cargo space? It's bloatware, I'll tell you. So what are the others doing if they're not special? They're specialised, therefore potentially optimised. Why are they more crap? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, why does this generic one take up a size 7 slot? <laughs> it's bloatware, I'm telling you. Shabby programming. No, no, no Jan, you, you miss, miss the point ever so slightly here. The, the point is this. Oh, hang on. Are we... Ah! What's, what's happening to my game? It doesn't like you anymore. Right. Oh, oh, really? That's what it was like. I, oh, I, I right. went over to the side and it was like, hi, oh, by, by the way, you got to step down. Uh, uh, do anything. you got to look back in the center. Look in the yeah. center. Yes. <laughs> oh, it weighs a metric butt ton. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that... <sighs> okay. So I can't jump as far as what you're saying, but I have got 196 cargo space. That's fine. Uh, I might be able to fit another Olympic controller in there, I guess. Can I fit another one? Well, you see, see the, the reason is, is you know that uh, AI is, is illegal in the really dangerous universe. You can't have actual thinking AI sentient stuff there. So right. they have to find a way to get around it. Something that's complicated enough to run uh, all the limpets, select the type of limpet, program type of limpet, that would really benefit from being AI. But it can't because they're not allowed. So in order to prove that they're not actually using AI, they've actually made it out of clockwork. It's an incredibly large uh, difference engine. It's a Babbage difference engine, which is why it has to take up a size 7 slot. Because they oh, couldn't do it with proper AI. Ball. Oh, <laughs> Magic 8 Ball. <laughs> Here's to Jana talking utter tosh. <laughs> uh... What's it say? What's it say? Ask again later. <laughs> a machine shall not be made yeah. in the form of the mind of a man. Which uh, man? Well, it didn't say the man. Oh, just mind of man. Yeah. Uh, which elite ship? Oh, which is why elite ships are run by 386 CPUs. Exactly. There is actually potentially another reason why that might be the case. And it's to do with the gaps between the wires uh, in the processor and uh, getting oh. hit by space radiation. You've mentioned this before, yeah. This is mm -hmm. fascinating uber nerdy stuff. Well, it's Very because much, yeah. that, that information was given to me by an actual rocket scientist guy who's like studied all this stuff. Apparently, there's nothing more complex than a 486 in space at the moment. So, uh, because they have to be able to survive. Like, if you put something like a, a modern processor up in space, they get torn to pieces. 
by uh, space radiation. Space. Uh, maybe 486s, those are already hardened for space use. See Hubble's telescope. Yeah, so 486s are all right. But again, it's because like there's there's less chance of something hitting the hitting the wires. I mean, how hard could it be? It's <laughs> only rocket science. Rocket science, yeah. Oh, it's not brain surgery. It's not brain surgery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. So what else do we need? What else do we need? Hey, eh? right. I'm going to stick a uh, a scanner on it. Right. Let's see if I can replace the module and get a wake scanner. Where's the wake scanner? Is it? Uh, it's, it's, it's a thingy, isn't it? Scanner. It's an Allen wake scanner. It's not surface scanner. It's a oh, it's it's a what's it unit, isn't it? It's a, it's a what? Yeah, one of them. What no, are you a, doing? A, it's a utility thing, isn't it? Well, what on earth are you looking for? For uh, what? Uh, I want the, the wake scanner. A wake scanner is a wake scanner. It goes and it, yeah. It goes, oh, you're, you're, it goes and scans wakes. Bit disrespectful if you ask me. You, oh, you're right. Yeah, it's it's sniffing buttholes. That's what it is. Sniffing space butts. That's what, what? you've got. That's what it is. <laughs> no, it isn't. It, it's it's sniffing space butts. I got to redeem a thing. Tato! Hey, hey, buddy. Thank you for the sub. Oh. That sounds about right, too. You could put... <laughs> but you have to make it the size of a pizza box so the innards weren't so close together. I think so, yeah. I've got to drink some water now. Because I was given a proper hydrate. Um, it, just make it, out of, make it out of quantums. Everything's made out of quantums these days, aren't they? It's all It's all quantums. I used to play with a blues guitarist who used to be a bit of a who used to be a brain surgeon. Used to be a brain surgeon. Just putting that out there. So was he a very good one then? What drove him to the blues, for goodness' sake? Maybe it's the blues. Da, 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 I got my scalpel. Do 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 do. My head saw too. Do 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 do. I have a mess around. Do 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 do. Other things happen. Can't really come up with words, but maybe maybe that's what it is. He just it's like he's got the failed operation blues, da, 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 and now I play him by guitar. Anyway, he's got the corpus callosum blues. Set your fire grips. The kitchen whisk did it for them. I got my whisk. Da, 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 da. Oops. Mistakes were made. <laughs> uh, yes, chords, yes, spinal chords. That's right. He's playing his spinal chords. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that's all right, Tim. <laughs> Brian May, guitarist and astrophysicist. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. yes Who indeed. knew? Yeah. Who knew? Musicians, right? It's not like that's all they can do. I mean, um, oh, Brian the two are inextricably linked. Inextricably linked. <laughs> right, what else am I doing? Uh, right, I'm renaming the ship because we we did this last time and it was not like the. We're renaming it. I'm not going through all that again. I'm not going through that again. No. No. We're calling this high grade emission thingy. But yeah, that bloke from D Room. Yeah, that one. <laughs> All right, it's not a good name, but that's what we'll call it. That bloke from D Ream. <laughs> Fine, chat has spoken. <laughs> it's just spooky saying. No, never mind. Right, and it's going to be B Cox. Cox, yeah, B Cox. <laughs> there you B go. Are you happy now? None of my ships make sense. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> hey, Puggle, how you doing? Uh, are we going to put any more paint on it? Do I, I've got some things. Do we want some? I, I don't like these. I don't like them. Uh, that's the normal one, isn't it? That's what it comes with, but I don't have that for some reason. Or do I? Oh, that's just a crappy one. I'm. Oh, oh. What's that one look like? You want you want the red and yellow one, the home world one, you know. Red and no, it looks horrible. Very fossy. Looks, very, very I don't like Christmas. it. I don't like it. There's not enough variance on it. I'm going to keep the current one. 
Uh, what ship is this? This is the Lacon Type 8. So you had your Type 7 and it went straight to Type 9 for the longest time. And everyone was like, where's the Type 8? And maybe it was like Windows 9. It went from Windows 8 to Windows 10. Where's Windows 9? We don't speak about Windows 9. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, <clears throat> and of course, I'm going into advanced maintenance and I'm going to buy some bally limpets. <laughs> They're under advanced maintenance. They've always been under advanced maintenance. Yes, which <laughs> makes perfect sense. All right, I don't um, know how many I'm going to need. I'm going to fill up my thing with oh stuff. Gosh. So, yes, it's a brand new ship. It's the most recent ship you can get. Currently, um, it's not available to buy with in-game credits. We can buy it for ARCs. This is a new thing that Frontier are trying, because obviously they, they languished for ages and the game still needs to be run. You know, you can't... What, what's this thing? Why don't you let me continue? Confirm. Right, right, okay. So um, so what they're doing, so the, they did this before with the Python Mark II. Beautiful ship, by the way. If you haven't seen that, uh, I think I, I can go into the livery and show you, if you haven't seen it already. There's a lot of commanders that are coming back to the game who haven't seen stuff for absolutely ages. So let me go in here. Oh, I can't quite do it here. What I can do, though, is go to the... No, it's not pay to win. It's not pay to win. It's pay for early access. Yeah. It's it not... You don't uh, get to early win with it. Early yeah. access started on the 7th of August. And I'm not quite sure when it'll be just Store build normal in-game in -game stuff. It's yeah, so, so it'll I'm, be 7th of September probably. Because you can always just wait. It's a couple of months. You can always just wait yeah. and then it comes out. Uh, where are the paints? Yeah, wait till it and then you just get it with normal credits. And it'll be exactly the same uh, for... Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to find the in-game jobbies paints and there we go here we go here we go so so what things you can do now so uh you can buy for credits for sorry for arcs pre-built ships and this is really for new commanders or um you know who want to get a bit of a leg up when they first start they can get a ship which has already got some stuff on it to get them flying with their friends because one of the hardest things in game is when you've got a friend who already plays and you say yeah come and join me all right, what are you going to need? What do you need? What are you going to do tonight? Well, we're going to do some mining. I've got a sidewinder. Is yeah. that a good ship? Yeah. Uh, for mining, no. So, <laughs> and, uh, so this gives them the chance to like just to get a leg up. Um, so, yeah. but so for the ships, you also can't sell the bits out of it either. It's a dedicated. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's it's not like you're you're profiting <laughs> on selling bits from inside it because they're worth nothing. No, they're true. literally worth zero to sell. Um, so. so, so you've got the the Type Eight, which is currently available for arcs only. Previously, it was the Python Mark II. This was available for arcs only. Now you can buy this in game, right? So this is their way that they're doing this now. So then in, in October the um, Type 8 will be available for credits. And then the new ship, which is the Mandalay. Um, so if you haven't seen the Mandalay uh, yet, uh, there are some, I have some things here. I did a Gaussian splat render of the Mandalay, so I can show you that. I've been showing this uh, periodically. So this is the new ship that's coming out, right? So, uh, so I put the video that we got um, from Frontier into a uh, a Gaussian splat renderer and it's made this so we can zoom in and have a look at stuff and see what it looks like. I think it's a really nice ship. Really, really, really nice ship. Uh, so it is. what? So it it's supposed nice. to be, it, it's supposed to have comparable jump range to the Anaconda. So no more the Anaconda is the longest jumping ship in the game. No. It's going to be this bad boy. Oops, mind the uh, the the grey. And it's got the same cockpit as the Mamba. So it's really pretty. Two-seater. And you've got... Um, it's got an SRV um, bay as well at the bottom. Can't show you the bottom because I didn't have any video footage at the bottom. These engines at the back here, these, these engines, they fold down. So it's got vector thrust. So you can have... Um, I'll show you. I shall show you. 
So when it lands, they come down like that. Look at that. How cool Each is that? Taller is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a little man. You see, there's just a little. Oh, is, man. you can see the little man. There's a the little man. He's, in, he's a little bit. Man. He's a bit in the distance. He's teeny. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's got VTOL capability. I mean, they all do really. I mean, the engines. Uh, yeah. Uh, here, so you've got these little um, these little jets that we have, but look I, how cool this looks! So cool. I read that in General Melchett's voice, Puggle. For some <laughs> so, reason. What? Hopefully, no one has footage of your bottom score. Footage of your bottom score. <laughs> yes. All right. So, but well, it's it's a really pretty <laughs> ship, and so I'm loving that this that Frontier are going with this new design aesthetic which is more like well what would ships look like now you know obviously things were based on how what things were based on before but designs can flow and become new mm -hmm. new things so it's really cool it could it could very well be easier landing on high ground yes planets. i hadn't thought and about that actually also uh easy landing on wonky surface planets because yes it's got its feet well spaced out and it's That's got good true. clearance underneath so th that is a very important so point you shouldn't be fishing for a landing spot on this thing and it's a yeah, medium-sized ship. It's medium-sized, yeah. so it's you know think uh, something like a um, you know a oh look at that. I don't know who did montages like that. Um, so like um, a python, it's kind of python esque, but it's designed for um, um, you know for, for exploration. And it's also SCO enabled, so you can go really fast in and super find cruise. That, that earth like on the other side of a system where you'd normally go ah. Oh, I can't be asked to go. Yeah. There oh, yeah. That one. So you, you all explorers go. have a story like that. Totally. You, you you go and map one once, and it takes you half an hour to get there, and you go yeah, and then you two systems down the road, you find another one that's the same, and you go oh, sod that, and you just don't. So yeah, it'll make that a lot more viable now. Uh, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> <laughs> I'm blaming Spooky for this one. And Spooky did not redeem a thing. He just made a comment that no, was relevant no. to the other comments in chat, and you just. However, it, however, like Spooky you. has been subscribed to the channel for 72 months. I I, I feel <laughs> yeah, I that he, he has this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, right. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go now. And uh, so I've got my limpets. I've got my sandwiches. I've got everything. So now all we need to do is go and find one of these high-grade emissions uh, because allegedly we can stock up on everything. <laughs> is it really longer than your parents were married? <laughs> Holy crap. You've been... Oh, it's here. <laughs> been so since Scorp was... Pre so, see this grey? This this wasn't grey when, when he first subbed. <laughs> Are you blaming him for that grey? Grey's not in here. No, are you blaming him for that grey hair? No, I'm not saying, blaming him for that grey. My hair wasn't grey when when Spooky no, originally. No, it's stopped. it's a it's a but now it is. time. It's about time. <laughs> it's a, oh my god. What's what's that? Uh, the only thing I'm worried about complaining is uh, considering Zorg and Peterson is that they are borrowing the Mamba's cockpit. I do fear uh, how lacking the optionals will be. Um, I don't know. I don't really mind that. I mean, I quite the like the Mamba's cockpit. There is a lot of work gone into the Mamba's cockpit. Mm. It's, it's designed to be walked around in. That's the point. So yeah, I don't mind yeah. that. Well, hopefully, hopefully that's a thing. Oh, you're right there, Epaphos. Yes, some of the grey can be blamed on Monday's stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I had fun. It was a fun uh, stream Monday, was it? Was a fun stream, yes. Right, where is that list of high-grade jobbies? Right, here we go. We're going to try and find out where Anu is. Where's Anu? Anu. Anu. Because if it's close, that's where we're going. Anu. Anu. Anu! It's close! That's where we're going. <laughs> it is only 11 jumps. Why is it 11 jumps? Oh, the ship's really heavy now. <laughs> yeah, you've got a clockwork Olympic controller in there. This is fine. We got this. Yeah, chat. Um, is Terakoff around here? No, is he a fuel rat person. Uh, yeah, uh, can can you land at an orbital station which is under Goid attack? 
I get uh, uh, Gavin Sag says yes there you go right I know you can land at the ones that have been attacked yes because they want you to help but I don't know about the ones that are actually under right I will show you what SCO is uh, Turbin oh. I will show you right oh great this this is a perfect place to show you as well like because there's a nice big star here right right I'm gonna put this behind me well let's get oh, it oh crap yes uh so let's get close it's probably because you're in the bubble that's a white dwarf so don't get that close because it's fine it's fine don't stand so close to me got it mm -hmm. right um so we're already in super cruise so I'm gonna switch to external camera look at this isn't it pretty right isn't it pretty? Right, no. so it's pretty. It, it's it's not pretty. It's a space zombie. It's not a space zombie. It's right. a space zombie. Right, so if I... I did this before. Uh, oh, right, so... I start moving forwards. This is the speed you go. But with SCO drive, I go, that's not fast enough. And I go really, really... <laughs> Fast. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh, there, there go the there go the planets and the There go the they're planets. The, they're go, they're, they're gone. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Bye, planets. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did turn it off. Right. Let me turn it off, otherwise I'll run out of fuel. Yes. <laughs> it is the most fun thing that they've added to the game for ages. Right, so uh, uh, you can fit SCO frameshift drives on any ship. However, they weren't built for it, so they wibble all over the place. It's actually quite a challenge to keep them in a straight line. Yeah, it's it's suddenly becomes like a bobsleigh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Skittering on ice at huge speed. So it uses a ton of fuel. and It, it does. It burns through fuel. Yeah, and you get hot. Uh, so you can just go to any station which has got um, SEO drives. Most high-tech systems will have one. And you just fit it. Uh, don't know, Alexander Corbin. I do not know. That is not something I have looked into. That would be something very useful to know. Where's my content creators, people? What? No, people need to know this stuff. Very good question, and I have no answer. They, they are. They, they just replace your standard frameshift drive with yep. um, an upgraded one that does SCO. So it's still just an ordinary frameshift drive, but it's got the extra boost on it. So yes, you can put all the all the ordinary upgrades on. Yeah. And it's just amazing. Thermal Cause, spread. Because again, right? I've just fuel scooped. I mean, I'm going to do it again because it's just so much bloody fun. Right. So I'll, I'll see that. See that star there. The big orange one. That, that's your that. mum, that is. <laughs> that's your mum, that is. <laughs> right. Oh, hang on. Oof, gone. Bye bye! <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> um, well, if, you, if you're 20,000 light years away from the bubble, that means you're probably nearer to Colonia than anything else if you've, unless you've gone off to the other side of the yeah. galaxy because there'll be a place around at Colonia that'll have SCO drives oh there'll be places either at Colonia itself or in the systems just next door well, yes. unless you've gone off to the right instead of the left you, you went off to the right, okay you went to the eastern spiral arm, okay yeah, it's, it's, SEO is fantastic. I love it. Um, well, it gives you a reason to come home and sell all that data. <laughs> mm. So you can head straight back out again. Let me get some fuel. Yeah, it's the best thing they added Ooh. to the game. What, what's that? What's yeah, that? why not? Yeah, go to an old bookmark from five years ago and see how it's changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I did that on... Uh, Distant Worlds 2, I went back to Mojo Moon, the one that started all the Turgeon's Travels episodes, and it didn't look the same, but th they were close together, the bodies, they still close together, but they didn't look the same. 
Mm. So that would be useful because I took part in an expedition to map out more undiscovered systems and I made it my mission to scan all life I pick up with the FSS uh, and some of the planets are way they out there. Yep. absolutely are. Yes. you just got to be careful with the amount of fuel that you use getting out to these far out places. Not all ships will get you there. Um, the best one right now is the Type 8. Um, that can do incredible uh, things. The Python Mark II is good in short bursts. It's good for catching pirates because uh, it's a combat ship. Good for catching other commanders as well who are trying to escape using Super Cruise Overdrive and you just hit your boost and go after them. Um, but this this new one is going to be an exploration ship, so it will. I'm it wagering should it should have a big fuel tank. Yeah. Well, not just that, but I think it will be more efficient with the amount of fuel, fuel that it efficient. uses. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Spooky. Goodbye, creepy bloody man. <laughs> that's a good episode. That was. All right. So I'm hoping when we get here, this is going to be fairly easy to find. Oh. Yeah, so um, I'm working on a new video. There's currently a new video on the channel, uh, which is a music video with some beautiful, um, beautiful footage of Void Hearts. If you haven't seen a Void Heart, oh my God, they're terrifying. Uh, Infwale has put together a load of footage uh, from his expedition, the Banana Expedition, but ba Banana Nebula Expedition. And... Um, if you want to go check that out, it's got music made by me and um, footage made by Infwale, and it's bloody fantastic. Like, they are scary looking, like evil. Yeah. Like, what could make these things look so villainous? They're wonderful. That's Admiral Infwale to you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Admiral, there he is. Yes, he says he's, he's in a new uh, HGE, if you want proprietary composites. He's chopped up on core dynamics from. Well, he's there. Well, we've been dicking about. Right. Because, you know. Yeah. yeah so if you want to go and Someone's check that out. Being efficient, at least. But there's a, there's a new story video coming out soon. Um, just finalizing some last bits of music for that. Uh, my partner in crime, S1 Studios, who does uh, my music um, a, a lot of the time. We both do music, but he's amazing at music. Uh, so he's working on a piece for, for one particular scene, and then we should be pretty much ready. So it's taken a lot longer than I'd hoped. I'll probably have to put, a, I'll put a message on my Patreon about that uh, because I am very grateful and very blessed to have some wonderful Patreon supporters. And I don't say thank you to them enough for what they do for me. But, um. Mine too. Mm. It's very true, the case of both of us, that if it wasn't for our Patreon supporters, we'd have stopped. You know, ages ago ages we, we ago. would have lost the will to make the things mm -hmm. but we keep getting encouraged well um, this year i nearly did I'll, I'll, I'll be honest i nearly did this year and it was through people reaching out to me from my patron saying that they really liked my content and they gave me so much support this year's been rough this first uh, half of this year has been rough the second half it's actually been quite nice but um uh, first half has been quite rough so, him, not over. It's not over yet. <laughs> well, no. But we, but the second half of what we've had hmm. has been has been all right. Yeah. What was that? I remember when uh, back when I oh. first started, I had an asp. I was going to land on a planet, and I couldn't figure out yep. why the ship wouldn't slow down. I accidentally turned off flight assist. It's yes. the only thing I can imagine. That will do it. That yeah. will do it because it means that the gravity. So the ship says. Come on, gravity, take me, take me. And it's not, the engines aren't fighting the gravity. So, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that does happen. Uh, oh, it, yes. It is, it is actually a way of, of feathering a ship down to the surface uh, on slightly higher G, not massively higher G, but slightly higher G. If, you can't, if you're not quite sure where it's going to land and you're landing it manually like that, you just keep tapping FA off, FA on, FA off, mm. FA on, and it just keeps dropping in a few inches each time you turn it off, and it will land. But if you're on an incredibly high G world, uh, if you start out at about, I don't know, it's like 
I can't remember exactly what the altitude was. If you start fairly high, uh, but you're in atmosphere, or you know you're above the planet, you're in normal flight mode, uh, and then you switch flight assist off and then pull laterally up on your um, pull up a little bit and then laterally up on your um, hotus hat to to vertically thrust up. So you're going in like that, thrusting down basically. Gravity will catch you and you will end up doing insane speeds. <laughs> insane. True. Like, uh, how fast did I get my Type 10? I think it was oh. like, I think I was doing Mac 30 or something into the ground when it hit. <laughs> it was yeah. insane. Yes. Because there is actually a, 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 a thing that people do called speed bowling. If you don't know what that is, go look that up. There's some commanders who've got some incredible... Like Tato Chip, who was in here earlier on. Yeah. If Tato's still here, say hi. Ask him about speed bowling. It's an amazing thing. You'll be going so fast. It won't seem like you're going that fast until you start getting close to the ground. And then you'll be like, Oh my god, how do I stop this? You can't. You're going too fast to stop. You 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 gave up you, you gave up your right to stop long ago. <laughs> oh, it was so much fun. Oh, and Denali, thank you for the follow there. <laughs> it was so much fun though. Because the idea was to control your descent so that you could fly your ship at stupid speeds through the towers of a ground installation like to aim for it it was like, like yeah that's people right. could do that i couldn't do that Push i made a crater <laughs> you actually used a, a bit on your last whole shield job. job what yeah. to get there really fast i'm coming stay where you are <laughs> is, is that how they had whole, whole problems yeah. I'm doing that um, themselves. <laughs> that's not a ship. That's a roll of aluminium foil. <laughs> oh dear. It what <laughs> the birth of the, the nun smear that is where yeah, that was the first time we put the the paint on the on the beluga. Which I think is gone now. I think I think you can't buy that anymore. Oh that's a relief, okay. Yeah. So you can, if it's under Goid attack a station, you can land there and refuel. That's nice. Right. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Next. We should job. be pestered on the board. Are you leaving? Can we come with you? Yeah. There should be people clamoring at you. Oh, I'm sorry, we can't allow you to leave yet. Not until you take us with you. Mm hmm. Right, so we're going to. I know. Why would you want to Anu? I mean, what even is that? Anu? Yes, what? you're going to Anu. It's a new system, isn't it? Never been there before. All oh, right. So you're going to a new system. Dot dot dot. Yeah. A new dot dot dot. Right. Yeah, we're going to find a new high high grade emissions uh, source, and we're going to find a new load of materials. Funny if the one next door to it was called an old. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Fabulous, yeah. You take the external view of your ship and it's got all the people in their little Odyssey suits all clinging to the outside. They're just holding the on. By the little handrails. Zero G handrails on the outside. And then they're knocking on the. It's cold out here, can we come in? What? No, go away! Right then, so I need to find a high-grade emissions signal source. So I'm guessing I need to go in here and do the blip and scan the FFS. Yeah. yeah. Well, it would it would help if you actually went Bing first. Oh, you did good. Yeah, backseat driver. Right. Let's see if I can find any high-grade emissions. What are you? Encoded, not what I want. Where's what I want? Yes, you Weapons can check the fire. bacon. Convoy dispersal. It's not as much fun though checking the bacon, is it? Weapons fire. You, you don't get the uh, the sense of rifling through drawers. High grade emissions. <laughs> That's the one. There we go. There you go. There you go. Right. So let's let's go to that. 
Tom had that in some lyrics, didn't he? Some... What's that? What, Tess said we can drop him to my HGE? No. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They haven't seen the zombie for ages. What? Ethnification through year five and Patreon there. And it's still got the zombie. The old zombie. Twitch zombie. <laughs> oh, has it? I didn't see that. Yeah. I was because watching. because you haven't well you haven't changed the donation thing forever. I Why would you? I haven't. <laughs> it's not showed up on the thing. Oh, thank you for doing that. Uh, no, um, high grade emissions. It was. Um, I think it's in it's in Tom's uh, channel surfing clip. You know when he's he's got little clips of silly songs and things as someone zapping through channels. And one of them is about high grade emissions and a sort of weird ghostly voice, yeah. So what did I miss? Oh, because I was looking at this. You were paying attention. Tell me what tell me what I missed, Jan. What ethnification? What supported did I... supported you with a five pound. Well, thank you for that. There on, oh, on the ethnification old, the old is Patreons. It's already on the old a Patreons, yeah. Already a supporter has been for a while. Which I'm very grateful for. Oh, that was just to reinforce and just to remind you. Yeah, that was <laughs> lovely. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Right then. Ooh, let's slow down. Slow yeah, down. Yeah, I think it's a case of getting to it. In well, once you've got to it, then they can't shut it down. It's too late because you're in there. <laughs> was it? Right. But it will degrade outside. Yeah. Okay, so let's open the thing. Oh my goodness me, look at that cloud. It looks like a, a little ghost. Got right. two little dark eyes, his little little ghost. Ooh, Pac-Man ghost. Bollocks! Hang on. <laughs> I've got to sort stuff out. Let's put you on. 5%. percent He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I got this. Why aren't I getting more collectors out? How many have got out? Two. Yeah, but should have. Get out there! <laughs> would help if you put the car <laughs> More pips into systems. All right, more pips are into systems. Oh dear. Oh yeah, to get my shields back up quickly. <laughs> Never send a Muppet to do a pilot's job. And That's vice right. versa, never send a pilot to do a Muppet's pilot's job. job. <laughs> you wouldn't send a pilot. <laughs> right, so there's only two collectors out right now. Oh, I know why. I know. Don't hate me. Do not. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't hate me, please. No, 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 wrong one. There's only two. Because I have two Collector Olympic controllers. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have to set to the same button. Uh, oh, okay, yes, how you doing? All right, we're good now. So yes. I should have a bunch. A, a. Application increased his pledge, you see. Oh, I really thank you so much for that, mate. Live long and scrob. Yes. <laughs> he says live long well, and scrub. Well, I'm going to go and get a, another another beverage. I shall leave this doing things. In fact, I shall leave you with the dance while it's doing that. Back in a sec. Oh, yes, the limpet dance. Needs to have the sugar plum fairy music going on in the background, that does. Uh, it's only just recently, Tuvan, it was the, the last major update. Uh, they did a pass, a balance pass for engineering. And that basically means that it's a lot easier to find materials now. A lot easier. When you find them, you don't find two or three. You find, like, half a factory's worth. <laughs> and that's what we've got going on here. Right. Oh, the limpets are all like taking their places. Yep. How are you doing? They've done their job. Pew, pew, pew. So, well, because I wanted, I needed to go downstairs, you see, 
and go get a drink because I wanted to cheers to ethnification. To say thank you. Cheers, matey. Thank you so much, bud. Look at that. Look at all those little guys all lined up. Spot yep. on. Have they got all of them? Have they got everything? That's, yeah, that's why they're parked there. Okay, let's take a look. Job done, sir. If they had little arms, they'd salute. <laughs> oh, they ought to. Right, let's see. No, so... they're scary enough as it is. People, you know, Terry the Limpet, they get attached to them enough as it is. So how do I find out how many of my things? Is it in my inventory if I go to my jobbies? I, so... I don't remember. <laughs> uh, don't know. I didn't check. Yes, cheers, Tato. Um, I guess uh, we'll just find another one now. Yeah, and all of your little friends who did such hard work won't be able to come with you. I mean, why? Let us bring them along. They all zipped out and zipped back, and they formed in a perfect tight formation under the ship. Yes. Holding right. position um, perfectly. Okay, so, <clears throat> so, so Jack Havoc... I'm, I'm I'm closing the cargo scoop because they're all back on board. I'm just moving through here. See that that those two arrows back at the bottom of the ship on the scanner. All that means is there's still active pings inside my cargo hold. That's all it means. It's all it means that they're not going to be abandoned or anything. Uh, so, so yes, they're back on board. Everyone's happy, and they've all done a really nice job. Look, see, they're gone now because they turned off because we're in Super Cruise. They're all switched off the power save mode now, and they don't show up in my inventory because they're in power save mode recharging. They're retired, you see. Yes, they are. That's oh. all it is. Just switch the Olympic controller on and off. That would kill them, Tato. I, I'm not in the business of killing limpets. <laughs> No, no, you'd much rather maroon them till their batteries run out no, and they just die that's, lost. That's not, no that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I say. It tells them to come home. What? <laughs> uh, does it? Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> the thing is, I never know these days. Yes, to the big cargo scoop in the sky. In the sky, uh, I thought so. Right, there's stuff in here. Let's run, run. You're free, little limpets. You're free! Free to live your life! Weapons fire. <laughs> it's like someone's under heavy attack. We're the only people in the system. No, we're not looking for you, mate. Encoded emissions. We don't care. Anything else? Nothing else there. One here. It's, what are you? What are you? What are you? Oh, Danny, mate, that's horrible. What's that? It's not like it's on oh, notes. A bit like leaving puppies in the middle of the forest because you didn't get the message about the dog being for life and not for Christmas. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, grab it and fleeced. Of course, yes. Jack's going to get in touch with grab it and fleeced. You had it <laughs> no, 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 no. No, he saw them being brought back on board, right? They, they were happy. No, he saw you saying that they were happy. <laughs> don't, don't, because that. Would I. Oh, here we go. Would I lie to you twice? They all, they all go to Silicon <laughs> Heaven, sir. And there's no such thing as Silicon Heaven. There is. They all go to Silicon Heaven. We know this. If there's no such thing as Silicon Heaven, where do all the calculators go? <laughs> <laughs> when you leave limpets behind, they go off to Raxler, but only when you're not you're watching. Not watching. They they can't go while you're watching. No one can go while they're being watched. We all know this. <laughs> <laughs> they can't go when you're being watched. It's quantum pissing, isn't it? It is. The moment you're not watching, they're off. They've gone to Rex. Oh, describe <laughs> how you feel about the new ship design in a single oh. word. Curvy. I like. I love the. Like, it's it's, it's smexy, is what it is. It is. It is. It's smexy. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, as as 
I shall demonstrate again for those who have seen. Beautiful, beautiful spaceship. <laughs> Not that I've shown this a million times, but I did a golf scene splat of this, and it's absolutely beautiful. Yes, I love this ship. It's moist. <laughs> God. Yes, I'll move this out of the way. I'll just settle this space. Yes. <laughs> yes. It probably be my new holster. It's, oh. It'll be a fantastic. I didn't think of that. It'd be good for for Healy's Alcelis, yeah. Mm. Cover that distance in no time. What's the stopping distance of Fortnite? Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, FSD seven attached to the pilot's chair and wings. <laughs> that, that would be <laughs> yes. That's oh. it. It's just oh, this is taking forever. Forever. Oh, no. You're gonna press the button, aren't you? Press the button. Are you sure, sir? It does mean changing the bulb. Was that to go to blue alert? I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> oh, slow down a bit, slow down a bit, slow down a bit. Slow down a bit more than that. Put on the brakes! It's because there's no gravity well to help slow me down. But look at how well this Type 8 turns in Super Cruise. Like, I, I, I almost got it. Almost got there. Could have made that in a Mandalay. Yeah, you would have made that in a Mandalay, yeah. I don't know why, but you know, like, um, the, the name the Mandalay just reminds me of Bart Simpson calling up Moe's uh, Mo's bar and asking oh. for Amanda Hug and Kiss. I'm looking for Amanda Hug and Kiss over here. Amanda Hug and Kiss. I'm looking for Amanda Hug and Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> deselect it. Everyone tells me to deselect it. Like I, d I don't have a button for that. Uh, I suppose. Do you not? Do you not have a select thing under the I, under I, the crosshairs? I haven't got it set. No. I'm sure you click anywhere. And it'll put mm -hmm. this. Right. So, so let's see. What do we have here? Things well, and stuff. Yeah, see see what it is and then see how many you've got first. Oh, it's a bunch of stuff. A proprietary composites there. Gimme. Give Gimme give that. Well, yeah, we'll check how many you've got first. No, nope, just gimme. But you want to know how many there no, are. No, I don't I don't care. I want them all. All of them. Programming limpet drone. I tried, chat, I tried. Programming limpet drone. All the things. Press all the buttons. It will only pick up things like if there's stuff left over. Then, then I'll go down here, and watch them all come home. Come on, guys! Come on, guys! We, you got this. You got this, right? Yeah, I'm thinking that back is because he didn't check the numbers. I need to. And then they go, "No, you you already had 247 composites, mate. We can't pick up any." They're off. They're off getting more. It's obviously there was loads to get. We'll have to get him more. Mm. Oh, Mandalay Bay. I've never been to Mandalay Bay. I've been to Vegas a few times. Well, twice? Three times. We've been to Vegas three times. Uh, once was work. Once was for work. Uh, once was a work party. Uh, once was just to go to Vegas. Nah, you got married three times, didn't you? <laughs> to Elvis. <laughs> Mistake. No, Elvis, Elvis does the marriage. Yeah, I know. Oh, was, no, was you, imagine that you take another Elvis in to get married by Elvis. You too, it's what Elvis. Yeah. Say? You're what right, say? It's right. Thank you very much. Very right. <laughs> uh, and then when you leave, you can say, Elvis has left the building. <laughs> <It's so funny. laughs> two two, two oh, Elvises go a, in to get married by thing. Elvis. That yeah. would be fantastic. That would be a big train job, definitely. <laughs> you got two Elvises, right? They go in. To, what would that third Elvis think? Well, is that, that's like being, being like a fifth wheel. 
been like a third Elvis. So, Elvis, you take this Elvis to be your lovely married Elvis? Right, uh -huh. sure do. <laughs> Elvis, you take this Elvis to be your lovely wedded Elvis. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not pronouncing you Elvis and Elvis. Elvis, Elvis. Elvis, <laughs> man. There's an echo in here. <laughs> Uh, Flight to Swarm, then release the Nimbits. Okay, I'm flying to Swarm, guys. I know, you should. Mike, very... composite storage is full. Yes, and look how much is left. Lots! I'm going mm -hmm. to the Swarm. Into the Swarm. We did say, didn't we? Oh, Jan, we stop it with me. I did tell you so, didn't I? Oh, I told you so, I did. Oh, did you listen? Oh, no. <laughs> Did you listen? Do you, you never, never listen. listen. You no, never, never listen, do you? Never listen. <laughs> I try and try, but you never listen. Right, have they stopped? Because, like, no, there's still things to get. Some of them are diligently going to fetch things. They're all sitting there, look. See, they've got little bits of material stuck to them, like... I can't get it in the, out in the cargo bay, Dad. I, I, I can't fit it in the hole, is that what they're saying? I can't get it in. I can't get it in, look, look. I got it. This one's got two. Your hole's already stuffed. No, that's two limpets. <laughs> I know, but it, it just looks like one of them's like just a try-hard <laughs> limpet. It's, a... <laughs> it's just like, yep. I, I got two, Dad. Look, look, see, look, all the others. Like they only got one. Like a hamster with his cheeks full. Terrible. Uh, no space. Is, is that it? Is that all of them? No. There's yeah, more. that's that's all. Because you've got you're full on both of those now. Surely not. Surely you can't be serious. The Olympics are serious, and don't call them surely. Right, that's the wrong button. Uh, right, so core dynamics composites all done. Proprietary done. Done. All done. All them are done. Somebody, please, distract the person who is... Get your limpets to collect each other. Target that limpet. Scoop up that limpet. Get back inside. No, um, I, need, I need somebody to distract our, our, our representative. No. <laughs> no, not this time. No, not this time. Is that you? That, that's where you're going with. Not yep. this time. Well, Storm. you didn't. Uh, you, di you didn't listen to the advice. If you'd listened to the advice, <sighs> there wouldn't be so many limpets out there, would there? It's your fault. The city's been overrun by baboons. <laughs> that is a good distraction. I'll grant you that one. <laughs> what was that from? I can't. <laughs> why? Why did I run out of power? Like, I thought I'd got my scanner jobby to something else. Shield generator. Bleh. Dusters need that. That's fine. Well, you don't need the fuel my scoop shield turned right off. now. You can turn the fuel scoop off. It uses nothing. It's like... 3%. Yeah. I'm fine. I mean, I need to engineer this a little bit. All right, it's fine. This is all good. Just put the things away. And now let's go. Let's find another one. So how many of these do you need to do before you're full up on all the things and stuff and things? Oh, it's Naked Gun two and a half. The smell of fear. Is that the smell of fear? Or was that um, Lethal Weapon? Not Lethal Weapon. Um, oh, what was the one where it's Tucker Harley? So how are we doing with that? Lo loaded what? Oh, cord only crystal shards and things like that. Stuff and things. I'm not going to get some of these, am I? All oh, right, a couple of go rounds and then you trade down on the material trader. Thanks, Mark Gamer. Let's see if we can get some more. A couple of go rounds. I did a couple of go rounds. I did a couple. Or maybe I need a couple more. Let's have a look. 
High grade! This is awesome, there's loads here! See, I don't feel like this is particularly grindy. This this is fine. I don't mind this. This is like turning up to a... Uh, I mean, it's perhaps not morally good. It's like turning up to a car a car crash and saying, Oh, I, I need one of them mirrors. But there is an element of that, isn't there? Six, let's put you down there. They're all going to have the same stuff. Uh, okay, so then go to a different system. Lord, have mercy. How are you doing? So where is the nearest material trader? Salvage is sustainable. Because we get to use the bits on other ships, don't we? Use different system in different states. Okay, so I'll, I'll look at that um, system finder again. I'm fine. I'm fine. Had a really nice weekend. I uh, was playing VR games all last night. Um, so I went to... So we had we actually had a family VR session. Like with Beat Saber, with the, um, the meta quests and like... Tried to get three-player Beat Saber game, but we couldn't get one of them updated in time. So we we're playing two-player Beat Saber with just the headsets. It's fantastic. Really good. At the top of the uh, ED Galaxy, you can select which high-grade match you want, and it changes the system for you. Thank you. How does two-player work? It, so you you start a server, and so you'll see your thing, and you'll see them in the distance, and you're basically just going for the highest number of points. So they're playing the song as well. And um, so it's like whoever comes out on top. It's actually pretty good because like... So if this is all the same gubbins... Four dynamics, jobbies. Full, full. Is there anything else? All right, so there's nothing else for me to get really, is there? Yeah, so I'm full. So now I need to go to the material trader then. Yeah, but it's a really good way of doing it, though. Because, like, you can have up to five players. Imagine that. You've got five five people and you're all competing um, over, like, playing the same song. See who's the best. Really good. Oh, you have full combo on power uh, of Saber Blade now. It's Saber Blade. That's the Dragon Force song. That's freaking hard. That's really hard. On normal, that's really hard. I, I have to play that on easy. Uh, if I if I want to like easy feels like normal on other songs. I I dread to think what hard's like on that song. Absolutely bonkers, fantastic, bonkers though. <laughs> oh, these are all core dynamics ones. Uh, remember the sci-fi I was telling you about named Quark? Yes, put, uh, put a link if you got the link. If that doesn't work, uh, put it into um, into the Discord. I am interested in Imperial Shielding. Uh, you have done it on hard. Normal flows more nicely. The the flows, like you get the swooshes. They're quite nice. I do like that. Uh, da, da, da. Da, yeah, they, they, they're quite nice. Proto alloys and heat radiators. What am I looking like for those? Proto alloys and heat radiators. Proto alloys. Uh, proto heat radiators. I don't have any of those. And proto light alloys. Let's go there. Let's find some places there. We're going to go to Cornsar. Where's Cornsar? It sounds like a sauce. And so you marinate the steak with some Cornsar sauce for three hours. How far away are you? 45 light is? That's nothing. I can do that with the petrol I've got in the tank. Uh, oh, who's, who's going? Back us, are you off? Take care. Oh, take care, matey. Oh, oh I, I'm, I'm just flying in a straight line. You take care, mate. Have a good one. Any boom system for proto alloys. Okay. Well, I, I'm just used. I'm, I'm cheating. 
I am using the ED Galaxy tool. It's kind of cheating, but I just want the materials. I don't care right now. I don't want to grind for them. I don't want to do like 200 things to then go and spank them all in an afternoon. I, I want bring them. I'd like to buy them in a shop. Let me buy them. Let me buy them in the shop, please. Make me pay a lot of money. I don't care. I'm looking for that one set of proto plasmic conduit wire jibs. Let me buy them then. I don't see the point in making people do stuff that's... They, they've agreed it wasn't fun. That's why you get more now. That's the thing, right? We know it wasn't fun. We're sorry. Mayor culprit and all that. Have yeah. a load of them. Have loads no. and you'll be fine. We did like tell you six years ago. Yeah. Yes, yes, but yes. I mean, we don't want to be a told you so. But, but. the moment, the moment <laughs> that system came out... Uh... Ooh. Cheers, buddy. Uh, you're, you're going through the unscoopables. Yeah, I've got enough fuel. Cor Corn Star is next. Corn Star. Corn Holio. Yeah. Drive I've heard Ram told you anything for free if, if you dress up in a gimp suit for him. See, well, now he has some standards. Has to be a pink gimp suit. And my brain just went to a place, and I do not repeat it on the show. FDev need to bring in player-to-player -player trading. I think the problem is that they find some way of duplicating things, because there are people who cheat. So it would have to go through some sort of transaction server where every single transaction has a GUID, unique identifier, and can't be um, can't be forged. Um, and we are on... Um... Uh, not dedicated servers as well. We're on hired servers, aren't we? Peer to peer, 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 peer thing. Oh no, no, peer to peer servers only for the so inter. Uh... In... So what you what would have to happen is your client would make a connection to the server. To say I'm starting a transaction with this other player. It would make you a unique identifier, and then the the transaction would then be confirmed by both players. Here's the unique identifier. Yes, I agree to let this go. Yes, I agree to get this. And then you close the transaction by sending the same GUID to the server. The only problem is, if anything happens and leaves that transaction open, that's a lot of cleanup that they have to do. Software engineer. People cheating elite say it ain't so. It's got me. Say it ain't so. <laughs> Uh, sadly, people cheat in all games. I don't see the point personally. But people do. People cheat in solitaire. Yeah. So what's the, always cheat. What is the bloody point? Well, I, I don't want to do the grind. It's not... Oh. I mean, this is much better now. Like, it... it I'm, I can roleplay this as I'm just a jobbing salvage person now. I'm going from place to place, picking the choicest things. I'm scanning for them. So, so this is fine. I'm scanning for the things. I, I've been given a tip off by a website. All right, fine. But this doesn't feel grindy to me. This feels a couple of uh, times doing this and it'll be fine. Yeah, it's a bit pinardery. I'm not quite sure what they're... Well, I know exactly why they're doing it. I don't care. Yeah, but I mean, as, as if they said, oh, no, we're going to halve the number you get. Lots of ships well, got blown up. There's components everywhere. Uh, yeah. Uh, re remember, it's, um, it started at one. And then you pick up a material and you get three. And now they've just multiplied the number of physical materials that something drops. Mm. It's, um, yeah. It's even faster using the nav beacon. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but it's not as much fun. Right, there's stuff in here. Right. At least do something. You know. The zoom in a bit. It's, it's, it's like uh, opening 
opening crates and chests and things in in other games. You know, is there something in this one? Is there something in this one? It's a... If if you if you go to the nav beacon, it just tells you what one to look in straight away. Is well, there's no fun? <laughs> what are you? What are you? Oh, why is it rotating? Yeah, because you're still moving. You're moving and you're not parallel to the orbit plane, so it's a relative No, I think to... it might be that HOTUS problem again. Let me see what the HOTUS is looking like. Yeah, so this rotation. Oh, is it, is it doing that flip? Oh, no, no, that's, no, that's fine. No, it it's looks fine. all right. Looks all yeah. right. I think it might just be that you were at an angle to the orbital plane for a moment there. Might have been. That's something over here. What are you... Convoy dispersal. I think this one might be a bus, you know. Uh, yeah. Combat aftermath. Not interested in that. Uh, system scanner does that sometimes. Oh, okay. I might go to the nav beacon then. Uh, see if there is a... Oh, wow. There's loads of crashed Thargoid ships here. Huh. What have they crashed into? Um, I'm guessing shopping trolleys that were just left out, or those um, e-scooters. People just abandoned them, you know. It'll start moving when you zoom into the planetary system and move that camera too far from the central. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Uh, the Chris, GG. No, I have been having some issues with my HOTUS, though. Like, I think it's the heat. Um, but it's been a good HOTUS for years. Years and years and years. They crash into missiles. Okay, no, that, that, that I'll take that. I'll take that. They didn't stay on their side of the road. <laughs> yeah, they could have crashed into each other. That's true, Sea Dweller. They were, <laughs> they were playing Thargoid Chicken or locust or whatever their equivalent is i don't know let's play a game of locust that's right yeah they're all flying and whipping in and i don't know <laughs> fly around messing about eat a cornfield hey fnap god damn it i knew there was something missing from the odyssey settlements no shopping trolleys what were you thinking ftav <laughs> oh i think i think steven's got it they crashed that? into abandoned limpets. Oh. <laughs> That's what it Roaming was. gangs of limpets swarming around. Yeah. They just crashed into them. Like wild dogs. They're not afraid of people. No, well, they're free now. They're not, they're not under control of a limpet controller. Right. Where is it? So, in effect, maybe that's where the, the Thargoids got the idea for the Thargons from. Oh, oops. Because they, got... they've seen they've seen free-range limpets flying around in little groups. <laughs> and they made their own way of Thargons. I've just abandoned um, some... Uh, what's it? You're creating more. You're putting more free-range free, free -range limpets out no, there. No, no, these aren't limpets. They're damaged escape pods. I didn't need them. You, and people would be you, saying, What's that you, you were got abandoning in your hole? damaged escape pods. Yes. Okay. I think they were damaged. Uh, yes, damaged. See, damaged escape pod. I didn't need them. They're just. Uh, they're so dead there now. won't be anybody in those. No, no. Uh, it's, it's kind of a cremation slash space funeral. So I take it that I did the scan. No! Blue Academy, they're not escape pods filled with puppies! No, it wouldn't say damaged then, would it? No, but, no. Have you seen how destructive puppies are with shoes? It would, it would say fluffy escape pods. No! Stop it! We're, no! We're not. That's not what we do here. We don't. It would say fur baby escape pod, it would say. <laughs> it's so cruel! So but it cruel. does. It says damaged. Right, Thargo chip. La 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 la. No puppies. No no you've just, no. You've just saved a, an insurance claim there. No puppies. It's fine. There are no puppies flying spaceships. Platypus eggs. Yes, could be Puggle. 
Oh. Epionis eggs. Records. La la la. La, la la. It's not puppies. Yeah. We haven't we haven't hurt any trolleys, graffiti, feral limpets hanging around on stairwells. That's what we're talking here. <laughs> I don't think the system's got any <laughs> uh, high grade emissions. Degraded emissions. Uh, oh, no, is that what one. it is? There's one. There's one. There's one. It's fine. It's, I told you yeah. this. Told you this one. So, part of the salvation arc, and that's why you've got Johnny Thargoid Rex. Yes, okay. Oh, this is why I can see it. So, this is the star. 6,000 uh, light seconds away. I don't know what's a crash Thargoid's playable. I'd imagine. Sure, we can take um, a look if we want. Metro alloy composites and things. Yeah, have a look at one. Uh oh, might be overcooking this. Oh, alien leathery eggs. That's um. God. Uh, you get them at uh. Yeah. Where's it? It's the it's the yeah, doctor's name. Definitely. Scott uh, Ridley Scott something. Oh, it, it, uh, yeah, Ridley Scott Station in Zeance, Yes. Yes, leathery eggs. Yes. Yes. Don't, don't look at. Don't <laughs> examine your purchase. <laughs> so, who's seen um, Alien Romulus? No, I haven't. Uh, so, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's re yeah, the effects are amazing. The the budget was tiny. I think I spoke about this on Monday. You did, yeah. Face huggers had big doe eyes that beckoned you to kiss What? Beckoned you to kiss them? What? Like... Ew. <laughs> Come here, kiss a big kiss. <laughs> Are there Romulans? No, it's based on Romulus and Remus. It's a station. But go watch it. Go watch it. It's good. Don't want to spoil anything for you. What have we got here, eh? Bunch of light alloys. Now that's Echo. That's that's getting a bit like um, putting googly eyes on the Glyphids in Deep Rock Galactic. Oh no! Wait, Scorp does that. I do that, yeah. And then he kills them. Power plant capacity exceeded. What do you mean? Of course, I killed them. They're Glyphids. But you've put funny googly eyes on them. Are so cute. Now kill them. Just. Why am I baddy now? They don't even have eyes normally, Glyphids at all. So it's even worse. You're just having a laugh for you. The Glyphids can't even see that they've got googly eyes on because they don't have any eyes. Yeah, so I just stick some and of these on. Them. 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 <laughs> now shoot him. I've got yeah. a bag of them here. That's you. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, that's the... Admittedly, everything is better with googly eyes in this trip. Yeah. <laughs> I've always All been the baddie. No! Yeah. What? You're the baddie now? Always have been. No, I'm not the baddie. Oh, let's uh, get a bit closer. Yes. <laughs> he may be a baddie, but he's our baddie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. What on earth is a proto radiolic alloy? I mean, really? It's for early radios. It's like it's what they make the the dials out of. And proto light alloy. Mm hmm. I mean, something that's on the way to being light. So is that like twilight? It's a twilight. It's twilight alloy. alloy. It's, it's, it's a proto light alloy. Proto. Pro, blah, 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 blah. Proto, yeah, get, getting these. This is cool. I like this. Look at this. Look at these going up. Edison alloys, yeah. Proto. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. I get that. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is there nothing else? Is there nothing else? No space for materials. Proto light alloys. Proto. Have we got this? Thirty. Right, 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 right. You guys. You guys got too much stuff. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to say, don't get that. I'm sure there's an inversion joke in there somewhere. 
Have these guys got like something stupid on them? Are they no space holding things? For materials, and you're picking up materials in space. That's probably an inversion joke. No, they've all got they've got things that I can't. They've all got proto alloys there. Yeah. Yeah. So proto radiolic ones. Uh, how am I doing for those? Uh, yeah, that fixes everything, Milton. In, in what's Star that? Trek. Reverse the polarity. polarity. Fixes what about everything the phase? In Star Trek. That does. Yeah, sure. get... yeah, that's right. Something about phase converters. Convert what? that phase, would you, and invert the polarity while you're at it. <laughs> Proto light up. I'll ignore those now. Got enough of them. I want don't them tempt me, loads Proto. of these. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill all my um Don't look! Did, kill... did you just say kill? I mean deactivate and activate again. Set free. You're setting them free. Yes. Yes. There's troubled out mill. That's true. Uh let me get this other collector jobby going. Well a crossbeam gonna have to skew on treadle. What? What? Right, go and <laughs> get the Python. One of the crossbeams has gone out of skew on the treadle. He has to say it in proper English as well. It still where's, doesn't make any sense. Where's the others? Where are they? Where are you? Where are you? But can you actually reverse the polarity of a neutron flow, Theon? Can, can you? Because it would still be neutrons, wouldn't it? I'm not getting this showing up. Inventory fault. What, on the thingies? Oh, I've got proto or proto light alloys. Got That's more like it. <laughs> Uncouple the phase inverters and pass the current directly through the MacGuffin bussards. <laughs> right, let's get these guys. <laughs> or bussards, if you prefer. <laughs> get them. It, it could be spin specific. Reverse the. Well, that doesn't work. Hmm? That's the one, Volcaris. Well, look, well, look Crossbeam's going to have to skew on treadle. <laughs> What? I don't know how it's to do trouble at mill. I just don't know how to do this stuff. It's scaring me. <laughs> Come on. Go get go get another one. There's more. more. The scary thing is that actually makes sense. The statement. Have you got the others? Did you go get There's three? Are you around with your fancy engineering friends? That's right. <laughs> He's got writer's cramp seat dweller, he'll never make it. Oh, there it is again. Oh. Where are they going? <laughs> right, I'm going to follow him because he knows what they are. Don't get those. But it's good working down the mine, Father. Ah, you're your futz engineering friends. What? Monty Python, it's the it's inversion. Been ages. The writer's sketch, yes. It's been ages. I've seen it for ages. Right, come. Oh, I'll tell you something I watched the other day. The film Troll. Do you remember that one? From the 80s, late 80s? Uh, no. Probably not. I haven't seen it for many, many years. Uh, and I remembered it practically verbatim when I was watching it the other night. All the little bits and bobs. Because I think I watched it on video a few times back in the 80s. Like that, I think. Boston Carbide Drills! <laughs> troll. Yeah, it's a good film. All the ones that came after it, all the other trolls, Troll 2, Troll this, that, and the other troll bollocks, they were all bollocks. But the original troll film was quite good. Quite Who endearing. remembers Critters? Yes, I do remember Critters. Critters is funny. The Krites. I'm awful lot for getting our engineering material, that's right, Jack. <laughs> we had to get up an hour before we went to bed. <laughs> oh, uh, have we got I'm awful the hope of getting a single one engineering material, if we were lucky. <laughs> you got engineering materials? You <laughs> lucky bastard. Where's the other system? I'm going to go. Corn saw. I'm going to go to Karka. Karka, I say. Swahu Kark. There's a lot of Klingon name systems. Bach, San, things like that around here. Where's Karka? Where's Karka? 
Bars, yeah, and that's like mm. you find the creatures from um, Star Citizen in there. Oh, that's uh, too far, mate. So you, we were happy. <laughs> yeah. That is too far. We can carca for what's well, important there. Well, there's more of these things that I might want to get. What about Erlander? Uh, what? It's like, uh. uh. Yeah, that's too hey. far away. Hey, that's it, Erlander. Uh, hey. Uh. Okay, fine. It's A. Uh, hey. A. Hey. Eh. Hello. Okay, well, what about Kakamburu? Well, you you know, it's your weekend. You do your hobbies. I'm 15 light judge. years to go in Kakamburu. That's where we're going. Now, pack up. We're going, we're going to Kakamburu. Okay. I don't want to go to Kakamburu, Dad. It smells funny. Shut up. It's deep in the Amazon, is it? We went down into the jungle, Kakamburu. Oh, right. One jump to Kakamburu. That is, that is true, Mark. Yeah, because you can jump out the system that you really and jump back to it. I'm jumping I mean, to that, Kakamburu. That, that is a bit like me. You know. I'm just going to Kakamburu. It probably doesn't have a planet called. Uranus. Kakamburu Uranus. <laughs> right. Hopefully we can get all of the the things that we need here at Kakamburu at the B and Q. Oh, it would oh, Uranus would technically be Uranos if it was properly said in Greek. Uranos. They, yes, they they stress different syllables, and it would be Uranos. They stress the last syllable. Doesn't sound as funny, does it? It's not as funny, is it? Not when you say Uranus. It like <laughs> Uranus. Uranos. It's not the same. Yeah, but no, it would be because I. Like, Maybe if if you say Uranos in Greek, you get people going. They, I don't know, but because maybe, <laughs> maybe the, maybe the gents the, the Unos is probably the same. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's like <laughs> oh, you, you, you can oh. just pronounce different. We were like, what they should have left it as George. That's what it was going to be called originally. Planet George. You can't have a planet George. That's why they. Called it Uranus in the end, but yes, hey, it was going to be George? George. It was, it was. Um, I think it was Herschel found it, and so he was going to call it after the king, because it was, you know, observatory here. So it's call it oh. after King King George. So it was going to be called Planet George. But everyone was like, everything's named after Greek gods, or you can't call it George. So unfortunately, I don't. I wouldn't want a planet called George. Uranus. George. Yes, you know, the planets, there you go. Jupiter, Saturn, George, Neptune. <laughs> I mean, it's just that a works. terrible name. It's a good name for a king, bad name for a planet. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to go to the thingy on I. But it could be. Yeah. Greek god George. Planet Zippy. Georgios. Georgios. <laughs> Planet Zippy. Zippy. <laughs> oh, it's doing the thing again. Oh, I've lost this thing. Very well, actually, Volcar. So we, we should be called Oceania or something here. What? Why? Or just Hydra. Should be the planet Hydra or Hydro. <laughs> what Earth? Yes, because we're not Earth. What are you talking about? We should, we should be called Water. Why? The planet Water. Why? Because there's more Water than Earth. There really isn't. What do you think the Water sits on? Lord yeah, that's bloody the Earth. <laughs> that's the seabed. That's not the surface. And, and how deep does the Earth go? 
Do you think it's water all the way down to the core? Yes. Most... Have you been down there? No, you don't know. You don't uh, know it could be water all the way down. Yeah, but it isn't though, is it? Isn't there? Wetty, wetty world here, yeah, that's do, a do, you know, do you know what proves it? Planet like swimmy. Volcanoes. Planet swimmy, how about that? Earthquakes prove it. Shadows and after aftershocks and shit. The planet moist, yes. We'll call it moist. It's limpets all the way down. Let's call it planet limpet. It is. It's where all the limpets go. That's where limpet man lives. In the bottom of the Marianas Trench, you find the limpet man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for the earth is hollow and I have touched the sky. <laughs> right. Right, there you go, see, Vulcan's got it. If Earth is going to be called moist, don't put it next to Uranus. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Did I scan it? Did I scan it, Janet? Did you scan the planet? Did it? Did you scan it, Janet? I think we Dang did. it! Damn it, Janet, you didn't scan it, the planet! Can it! <laughs> Don't hit the button so fast! Don't spam it, Janet! <laughs> Are there any high-grade emissions in this bally place? I want it, yes. <laughs> Uh, high grade emissions. Come on, we have to collectively go high grade emissions. High grade high emissions. Grade. Oh, got one. See, see, when we all pull together, you guys are doing it. We found one. Yeah. Ah, yeah. They, they, they. So I want to see a punch up between them, Vilker. I want to see two, two groups marching on the streets, the flat earthers and hollow earthers, and I want to see them confront each other and have a punch up. Get me popcorn and just watch. <laughs> what? It's flat. It's hollow. And then everyone else is like, you, "Just as I'm, I'm watching. I'm just watching this. Yeah, that's the spot. You're all <laughs> so wrong on a fractal level. You are fractally wrong. Everything you say is wrong <laughs> at every level of of accuracy and zoom. Uh. Super duper drive! Right. Yeah. <laughs> Dolphin's like, what do you say to me? <laughs> In space, no one can hear you break. <laughs> Dyson Sphere Vacuums. Bit of product placement there. I wonder if that would be a cool game. Dyson Dyson cleanup de detail. Oh, nice one, Sea Dweller. What's that? They have so the two groups. They tried, but they couldn't see each other over the curve of the horizon. The irony. Have you seen that there is actually a guy trying to settle this flat earth nonsense once and for all? He's got this thing called the final experiment. And what he's doing is he's invited one globe earther, aka a normal person, and <laughs> one flat earther, trying to get flat earthers to actually accept the challenge and go, is nigh on impossible because they know that their, their grift is up if they even yeah. go there because yeah. they're going to go in December and in the Antarctic so they're going to take them to the Antarctic and in oh, December where, where, in the where Antarctic the wall's supposed to be. Yeah. where the wall's supposed to be but there's also 24 hours of sunshine, sunshine in December yeah. and that is absolutely impossible if the earth is flat because they've got this thing where like the, the sun is supposed to move magically around on this disc and the moon is also doing the same thing. Well, that can't happen if you're at a fixed point on the edge. 
It's like, it's, oh, it's so stupid that people actually I believe know. this tripe. But the thing is, though, right? So the people who are um, who are pushing all of this nonsense, I don't think that they're particularly Purple's nice. Purple's all the way down, Melter. That's right. We know but the, the the people who fall for it, who, who believe in this whole thing, I feel so sorry for them because they give money to these people, and to them, it's a grift. They, they give them money. Yeah, I know. They're just in it for the money. Yeah. But I, I don't but, know why people would do that it's just it drives me up the wall but like this is supposed to settle it and and the thing is so right so the flat earthers who who have agreed to go um have have been ostracized by the community like oh he wasn't a real flat earther he's in it he's a shell <laughs> from nasa it's like you fucking what mate you what so, no, he's got to go there. A flat earther and a round earther are going to go there and watch the 24 hour sun. And if there isn't a 24 hour sun in December, which there is, but if there isn't, then it proves that the sun moves away around the world on the flat plane. The only reason you can't see it is because, for some reason, the optical illusions and shit, as opposed to we're on a ball. <laughs> oh, dear. It just drives me up the wall. Well, it is it's crazy. Just... I mean, nobody ever believed the world was flat anyway. Mm -mm. It's mm -mm. only because of uh, a Victorian book. book yes. Put out in the Victorian it is. era. And you know, what was it? The, the Michelson-Morley experiment. That That's what supposedly reinforced it. Because uh, there was a canal, really long canal. And if you had a boat on the water on one side and you shouldn't be able to see the boat the other side but you could because of the conditions on the day when they did the experiment because the, it was hot over a body of water uh, so you have freaking refraction <laughs> it's, like, it's like oh my god oh it's, this is what happens when you know just enough to be dangerous oh it must mean the world is flat that's it that's where you went with this? Not like, oh, perhaps this needs further study. Why did this happen? Yeah. No, the Earth. Ah, he's doing this. Like, the Earth is obviously flat. For fuck's <laughs> sake. No. And, and, okay, then. So if the Earth is flat, what about space? Space is fake. Okay, what about the moon landings? That was fake in the studio. What about all the satellites? They're balloons. So, just because of this one guy on a boat that didn't understand reaction, refraction and atmospheric pressure and things like that, all this nonsense, all this nonsense, it's like, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, well the stars, oh. you, the stars, you know, they're just campfires. And, and the, the, all right, you're looking, you're the looking thing. up at the, the world of the gods, you see, you're looking... Right. At their flat land. Here's the other the thing, stars right? Stars are campfires. I think that they have a problem contemplating the scale of, of stuff. Like, we're just going on a total <sighs> tirade now. Right, so they say, if you spun a wet tennis ball at a 1,000 miles an hour, all the water would fly off. Yes. But you don't measure the Earth's rotation and miles an hour. It's degrees per second. It's like a 15-degree drift. Like one that. of the original it's, theories it's, about how the moon it's like, formed. But the thing is, the Earth is a lot bigger than a tennis ball. It's yeah. like, and, oh, and oh, and there's no such thing as gravity. This one experiment is supposed to have wrecked gravity as well. So how does everything stay on the ground then? Oh, that's density and buoyancy. It's because it chooses. <laughs> it's it's yeah, free okay. will. Okay, so if you've got density and buoyancy, that's how it does it. What stops things from going to the side then? Why is it go down? Oh, it wants to go down. What tells it? Oh God! It's... Never understand how stupid people can be, or how many That's of them right. there are. This the eight is... ball is small. That planet out <laughs> it's there far is away. far away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If the Earth is flat, why haven't cats knocked everything exactly. off the edge? Exactly. Oh dear. Oh, hard points. Thing is, some of them oh, get quite aggressive points. with it. 
when, when, you, when you give them like facts and i've seen this because i've been following this this whole thing for years like you give them facts and they will aggressively dismiss it like of course on, on a technicality of the thing that the person presenting the argument said not like actually you got a point let's have a look into this no. this, is, this is how belief works I'm yeah right yeah it's absolutely insane okay so the space thing is faked then uh all space satellites are faked hubble space uh telescope all cgi even though there was no freaking cgi back then the moon photos cgi there was no cgi back then everything's manipulated and, and they will pick on something like there's a photo on nasa on the nasa website that has been digitally manipulated of course because something is a composite image because you couldn't take that photo of the earth like that it's like well it proves it's all photoshop no morons no <laughs> it just means oh dear dear oh dear breathe dear. breathe <laughs> it's just it's so you're among friends here i we, know we, we, i just us, i just find it shocking <laughs> i find it shocking i know it is it's it's the level the level of like the thing is for them it's will, willful ignorance is what it is it's it's in, they they have a level of personal incredulity right which is what i'm having right now i can't believe that people are so e either easily led or or ill-educated I'll, I'll be kind right ill-educated but apparently everyone's in it everyone's in on it schools they're in on it every government on earth is in on it they don't agree on anything else in the world they'll oh, no. kill each other for absolutely yes. any reason but oh no but on this subject on this Everybody one subject agree. they agree completely 100 percent china sent stuff to to the moon oh no they haven't they're faking it too for the sake of what so nasa aren't embarrassed what so uh, russia have said things as well it, Russia were the first one to send a, a man, like a man into space. Uh, Yuri Gagarin. Oh, that was fake, was it? Did Russia also well, fake it? Really? Well, Sput Sputnik, <laughs> Sputnik's the classic because that was put up there uh, first, and, and they they deliberately put it up with it going beep 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 on a specific <laughs> frequency that they knew the radio hams would listen to, so that radio hams around the world would hear Sputnik. So how do you conspiracy that one then? They had they're, vans, they're, they're, obviously. They're Russian agents all around the world <laughs> jamming radio hams with little broadcasters yeah. going beep, 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 beep. <laughs> What's that? So when there's so little accord over so many issues between so many between countries and yet they all came together to agree a global conspiracy. On this yeah. one thing. On this yes. one thing. Looks like, all oh, right. <laughs> we don't agree with who owns what country. We don't agree with where the borders are. We don't agree with uh, uh, anything else. But no, 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 obviously, yeah, yeah. We're going to keep the, the shape of the earth a secret. Fuck's sake, of course we are. Are you kidding? <laughs> Ever oh, man, that's the obvious one. No one in their right mind would betray that. No, no, but but you come near me and I'll nuke you. <laughs> it's like you're kidding me, right? You're kidding me. Hey, DNA, how you doing, mate? Hey, -ho. <laughs> Oh, God, I just find it so hilarious. Oh man! <laughs> You've got space madness. All right, what's at this place? Oh, Anything that you things don't things and stuff and things. I don't know. It's it's more proto heat radiators, which I do need. Some. How many of them do I actually need now? Uh, what radiators? That, I've yeah. only got three. Yeah, proto heat radiators. Oh, proto heat radiators. Yeah, yeah. I need them. I need them. So you mean that's like um, uh, an unlit match? Yes. Yes. That's what it is. Oh, you're picking up matchsticks because that's a proto heat radiator. Uh, what's that? So wait though, if space time is curved in just the right way, just the right way, uh, the Earth could loop back around and still be perfectly flat. Look round, yes. But Clearly, Einstein was a major player in the conspiracy. Of course, yeah. he was. Oh, It'll do you know who else is a major player in the conspiracy? For some reason, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oddly, for some reason, like they blame him. <laughs> it's like, what? You what? Why? What's he ever done? <laughs> he's he said, he said the word science. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, right. How many of these have I got? Trojan oh, I've got, I've got 100 out of 100. I, I, I'm all full up. 
Um, right. You've already got a box of matches. I've already got them. And you sent some more limpets out to die, didn't you? Um, um. It was at this time that Ascorbius realized that he had sent out many of his limpets to die in the coldness of space. But he did not care, because engineering his ship was so much more important, and the limpets had signed a little chitty to say that they they were okay with it, and he had given, they had permission from Limpet Mum to go and explore space. And even though it was signed with their little limpety hands that they didn't have, uh, Vata Scorbis had su stuck some little springy hands with some sellotape and just wiggled it around until he got a signature. But they can, they agreed and were then left to the vacuum of space for all time. This, I hope, answers the question of the morality of leaving limpets alone in space until their batteries, which are actually quite powerful fusion reactors, fusion batteries, so to say, um, and they can sit in space for a very, very long time, but they will die on their own in the blackness of space forever. I hope this explains things. <laughs> Limpet mum, I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> Limpet mum, yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> the moon is a button. Well, otherwise, the documentary Button Moon would never have been made, would it? That's right. <laughs> the, the moon's a balloon oh. made of cheese. <laughs> it's a big cheesy balloon covered in buttons. Oh dear. Three, two, one, engage. Make it show. Right, so we've got all of those, the proto alloys and heat radiators. Now we need military grade alloys and super capacitors. Let's see how many of them we've got. Super capacitors, I say, not just normal capacitors. Super capacitors. Super. They come yes. from Super Earth. They do. Uh, super, super. Uh, have I got any super capacitors? I haven't got. I've never seen super capacitors in my life. Right, we're gonna have to go get some. The place that we're going to go to is Concordia. Apparently, where is that? Concordia. Concordia. Hmm. I have never been. Oh, I, I bookmarked it. Apparently, I have been here before. Why the yes, hell did I bookmark you it? Have. What's there is in a Concordia? reason. It's in a state of war. Huh? What is it good for? Getting some high-grade uh, emissions, apparently. Concordia Leviosa. Oh, what's that? I mean, if people think Jira is a good piece of software, don't say that. I've got to start using Jira tomorrow. It's, uh, it's, the head, it's, the head, it's the headquarters of the Marlinists. Oh, right. Oh, that's, that's... That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's really not a stretch for the same people to believe the Earth is flat. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so um, as of tomorrow, I'm working on a different team, and that team uses Jira. I've used Jira before, but, like, we were using... Um, what's it? Azure DevOps. Um, before and that was such a good piece of software. It's got a great ticketing system, great board system, and now we moved to Jira. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Turn up for work. Gob, why are you drunk at work? Look, you made me use Jira. No, that's Go. Jira, not Jura, you fool. <laughs> I didn't go there. That was a great connection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> oh, it causes my best memory leak. Uh, why would it do that, actually? I've never seen it do that. What browser are you using? Is it Chrome? Maybe you've got some. Have you got a plugin for it that, that's um, tried to make life easier, but that's got a, a memory leak? A water fox. Hmm. Keeps loading and loading. I'd see if there's an update, mate. Four, three. And see if they've got an update to their Jira. It might actually be locally hosted. And then they haven't updated it in ages, because I'm sure there's software updates to Jira that you might not have. 
but check that. I'm gonna have to do another scene, which is uh, Scorb does tech support. <laughs> and that's, I'm not joking. I'm not joking with you, like in the like. I'm not being mean. It's like that would be quite funny. Do you know why my type type eight keeps uh, running out of fuel? Okay, let's go to Scorb's tech support. Oh no, that's that's like <laughs> that's Ren and no, Stimpy with yeah. Ask Doctor Stupid. Yeah, well, that would be yeah. I'd give the wrong answers. In a lab coat. Oh, that would mean a scene change and a costume change. Half moon glasses. Uh, score brands about Enterprise Software Channel. I follow. <laughs> oh, don't tempt me, Flop. Know that I would use such a channel. Oh, it's gone blurry. But, but, but good. But through me, Jiro oh, would do me. Jiro would cause evil. Uh. <laughs> it's a formalized system for non-technical people to persuade themselves that they know better than the technical people. Stop it! Don't say it! <laughs> no! Oh, the entire company I work for is starting to move towards Jira. Uh, now, to be fair, I was a contractor for many, many, many years, and every company I went to used Jira. And it was always a pain in the ass, but it's better than some of the alternatives. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. We're, we're, it's kind of designed to... It is kind of designed to encourage multiple redundant layers of administrative hierarchy. You're right. And you know what? When you're right, you're right. We've got eight more jumps to go. Oh dear. Has anybody put any videos out lately? Oh wait, I have. Jan, what about you? You tend to... You, the last couple of months you you threw out like five million videos. What, what happened? What happened to you all? <laughs> what are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> I've done two videos in several months. Uh, the last month or so, there was the whole ECM thing. I've been ill. I haven't got videos yet. I, mean, I have got one in the works, though. I'm thinking about it. But yes, the last one I did was called Once Upon a Time. And it was the, the story of a strange little fantasy commander called Commander Scorpius. So... Would you like to put a link to your channel, Chan, so that I people who don't shall. know that you make videos can 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 watch your your content and and be oh, entertained? God. See, I don't. This is this is what it's a game for the young. This is what Connor normally does. Yeah. See, see if that works. Try that. There you go. Yes. yes. So if if you while you're doing, you've gone blurry you know, again. By what do you mean I've gone blurry again? I just fixed that. Hang on. What about now? I'm a blurry now! Why is it going blurry? Right. Episode 57. <laughs> well, I thought it was the blue. It was the effect of a ham and cheese salad. What? I mean, if, I mean that must be some particularly strong cheese. Hi. There. There you go. <laughs> I've put the link was, to, the, to the most latestness. I was of particularly, episodes. I was particularly um, uh, impressed with that one. Hi, focus streamer and chat. Yes, now, now. Focus. So was I, if I say so, my <laughs> damn self. <laughs> so you bloody should. Right, uh, we are six jumps away. It better be bloody worth it. Yes, that's it. that episode is what happens when you use AI tools and don't damn them. <laughs> yes. Well, it's it's when you use them in the way they're meant to be used, I think. They're just tools. They're just tools. Yeah. How are we doing? You're that, that... still a creative force. Yes. Yeah, I think that's the thing. So if, if you try to... Because it wasn't always supposed to be that robots and, you know, computers... AI does the does the 
the, the stuff that we aren't interested in, and we yeah, get on the, the creative menial, side. Menial crap, yeah. And we le leaving the us time yeah. to do the leisure stuff and the, and the creative stuff. But we seem to have got it wrong. We use it for anything that requires any effort at all, including the creative stuff. It's like, no, you missed the point. That's the yeah. fun bit. Well, that's it. I mean, I enjoyed all doing all the, the voice bit. acting. I did all the voice acting, but yeah. it's a case of um, uh, I, I put it, the equivalent of putting a mask on the lines after I'd recorded them. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you're if you're acting with your face and you put a mask on, you're a different person. Yes. It's like the same thing with the audio. I did all of the voice acting myself as your door, and then I put a mask on it, an audio mask on top of it. Right. Using the AI. But it's oh, my voice my acting, God. damn you. <laughs> Can't get a machine to do that properly. So only people can deliver on that. Thing is, though, right? So we heard from Commander Machine recently. So I'm, mm. I'm wondering if he's gonna like step back up. But what he'll probably do is, uh, right, Jan. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll do the filming, and then you can just do me. I've got a thing. Yeah, you just, you just do my lines. Mate. I'll, write, I'll write a script, and then you just do my lines, and I'll do uh, some, some filming and some, some stuff in iCloud, and then you can take care of all that stuff. And I'd go, yeah, all right. Because <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I enjoy doing those. Yeah. Four, three, two, one, and... All right. I'm still one scene missing from my uh, my new video. It's right at the end. It needs needs a little bit of practical work. And I haven't gotten around to doing it yet because I'm like, a bit a bit busy. Uh, you know what? Love DCM, but didn't have to throw a spanner in the works, getting ready for it and everything, and and then things yeah, that happened nice. after. I, I guess being almost made redundant also put a spanner in the works, but yes, yes. So that that was a. Uh, it's amazing it, the the little it's been things a, a that month can affect your change. flow. Well, <laughs> it's not the same month anymore now. That's true. It's, it's oh a new god, month. yes. Welcome to September, everybody. Oh, God. It's a new month, so... Time oh, to switch we, gears. We, have, we haven't explained a thing. No! Oh, goody, goody. <laughs> what is the explainer thing going to be? Well, just have to play the Jeopardy countdown music while you wait. No, to try to get... Dun, dun, dun. Da, da. Uh -uh. Oh, that, that that is a very tame explain. Um, but it's one that you will enjoy, though. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll do that. enjoy explaining that thing. That's is actually a legit one. That's a straight up legit explainer mm. thing. Well done. Well done. I suppose say September. <laughs> oh, but that's just. I I don't want to encourage people to like. You're only welcome here if you spend money. No, that's not what I want at all. I want people to enjoy coming here and, and for it to be uh, a, a place they like to frequent and come and see me on Sundays and stuff. I don't want people to think, oh, he's only interested in the subs. Uh, I'm not, not, not. I mean, it helps, it helps financially, but I'm not. That's not the primary driver behind me doing this. Okay. Yeah. Confused with this use of the explain. Actually, no, no, asking I'm for a legitimate explainer thing, Epiphus. What's I'm going, going to, on I'm, here? I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. Right. We're ready. Okay. All right. Right, so the original reason for the Ascorbius channel in the first place is because I saw um, that there was quite a lot of content about Elite Dangerous, a game that I was fairly new to, but I really wanted to tell stories. And so I started putting together videos and they were not very good, but I thought this, this is something I could really use to tell stories and to like funnel my creative juices. And so I started putting together videos and the more and more I did that uh, I was like, well, I want to do something different and do things uh, branch off from other people. But then I found Josh Hawkins and Turgeon Stan Starstone uh, and they were making machinima videos. I was like, oh my God, this is so freaking cool that 
like they're able to tell stories in the Elite Dangerous universe just by filming ships flying around and doing stuff and it was really really cool uh, so I thought I'm gonna have a crack at this but I need to give it my own personal spin so I uh, learned how to do uh, a lot of stuff using CGI I had already got like things like Daz Studio and I had VR so I thought I'll use the VR headset as a camera because when you look at yourself in VR um, in, in Elite um, you can't see ahead but also the camera system in Elite when I first started making videos was really primitive so you couldn't film inside the cockpit and that that made it difficult to be a good storyteller I, I thought unless you're incredibly talented like like Jan Jan was able to do it like just with the ship and looking out the window from from the cap commander's point of view Josh is doing all right uh be off from what what I can gather it's doing all right uh you say hi in the in the bro bar he, he'll probably he'll probably respond yeah, he'll, uh, so yeah, I started fine. putting I started rendering 3d heads and uh using motion tracking and then keeping them in place and that that just went off in that direction and I've made life equally hard for myself ever since but that's the start of my thing I saw uh, what what uh, Chijana was doing I saw what Josh Hawkins was doing and there was actually a few others doing it as well I thought this is brilliant this is brilliant I've always wanted to tell stories and now I get to tell stories in Elite and it's wonderful so I hope this explains a little bit of my motivations and things it's actually this is a, a genuine one uh, normally I just do it like make something up in here and, and everyone knows it's made up but this is a genuine one so if you enjoy storytelling uh, Josh hasn't made a video for a while but check out yeah, some yeah. of his old stuff they're really good uh, Jan's stuff is really good and I I've do. just I feel like check I've been playing Commander catch up. Machine as well. Oh yeah, Commander Machine as well. Uh, there was a time the three of us were all doing stuff. Yeah. In fact, you can blame Scorbin Machine for me using iClone. Because I wasn't using iClone <laughs> before those two. They used it first and then I got into yeah. using it because of that. Well, I got it and then I, uh, I showed <laughs> Machine. Did some, yeah, it was another crossover. Oh, Martin, thank you for that, mate. Uh oh, Sea Dwellers. Oh, no, no, no. I thought I put a limit on these things. What have I got to explain, Sea Dweller? No, 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 no. Oh, dear. But yeah, like, there was uh, once upon a time a very thriving community of content creators. Oh, and Elite it's... Christmas. Look, yeah. at, look at the Elite Christmas series. I mean, uh, there still are. Oh, that, was, that was 2017, you know. Yeah. I think what happened though we is had so many, so many people working on that. YouTube kept tweaking their algorithm and whoa, and made it so that like people found it very, very difficult to get any traction at all, even in the community. Even if they had subscribers, people wouldn't be shown their the next video. Uh, it's like the only things that seemed to be getting any attention were reaction videos and and stuff like that. So explain duck foot rot <laughs> excuse me what <laughs> duck foot rot okay okay you know i used to keep ducks right okay <laughs> Ducks, the wonderfully cute, quacky little birds that you find on ponds and lakes throughout the world, uh, often go really nice with orange sauce. They are lovely little creatures. In fact, are well known to be the most intelligent fowl bird. They will often uh, sit in communities with chickens and just toe the line, but they're clearly more intelligent to the point where I used to keep ducks and they would come when you shout their name, they knew which one they were. Um, but ducks are prone to certain illnesses. Uh, one of these is the lame duck thing, where if a duck doesn't get to swim in water, they hurt their feet because they're not designed for being on the land all the time, even if it's just grass. Um, the <laughs> true story, uh, I took one of my ducks to the vets because it was having trouble limping to get an infection 
in their in their joints and they have to have antibiotics but the vet did not know let me fix my video the, the vet did not know the level of, of antibiotics to give to my duck so she looked it up it's a big book of birds and things and she's like right the duck's about that big which is let me just check this correctly you've bought me a lame duck <laughs> so it's like yeah yeah can you please fix the duck so foot rot uh, because they are constantly um I'm having to guess this now because I honestly don't know. But like, I think because they're constantly uh, in wetness, like they can they can be prone to certain like funguses and infections and and stuff like that. Especially if they cut themselves. Um, I'm just guessing what this is. But the uh, they they do get ill, and they are, the thing is they're the most lovely creatures. When I brought my duck back from the vets, the other duck was hiding in the bushes at the back of my garden. And as soon as I put the duck down, it came out of the bushes like quack, 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 and met up with the other duck to see if it was all right. They're so lovely. If you want a nice pet and fresh eggs every morning, I recommend you get ducks. They're fantastic if you if you can keep them. Uh, keep them protected though, because foxes and rats and things they will uh, they, they they will hurt them. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I used to keep them. Orion Dury, they were They were lovely. Uh, cats and ducks seem to have. An, an accord they have an understanding <laughs> yeah because they know the, the, the duck will go and the cat will go and the cat go right mate and they just they don't they just don't bother with each other it's fascinating i hope this explains the various illnesses of ducks at a very high level um uh, but i uh, thank you i don't know if that got the duck foot rock thing right uh sea dweller but um i know mine uh got ill simply because i didn't have a pond so i dug a pond out and I put a liner on the inside. I put a pump in there and everything. I had to change that water every two weeks because while they are lovely, white and fluffy, they're filthy little bastards. They crap they everywhere. Are. But I tell you what, I tell you what, you take that water from the, the pond and you put it on your flower beds and things. <laughs> My God, it's like That's Godzilla. Right. Yes. It's amazing. It's <laughs> the best fertilizer. So then I go and fill up the, the pond again. And it's, you, you fill up the pond with clean water. They're straight in, washing themselves, everything. They loved yep. it. You had no idea what a result. <laughs> oh, but yeah, ducks are brilliant. Love ducks. And fresh eggs every morning. I, I had I, some, some wild ones move into my old garden, in my old house. And they stayed for a year or two and had little ducklings. Mm. I don't think any of the ducklings survived, though. I don't, the, the, the cats didn't eat them. But for some oh, reason, Trestle, thank you for the follow. But yeah, uh, but yeah, so they were just wild ballards that just decided <laughs> to park in the garden. So we put a little paddling pool out there for them yeah. and everything for the year. They do, they do appreciate like, like a little pool and stuff. They do weird little things. So, so when I had my ducks, I was married to my uh, ex-wife at the time. She's Korean, and um, so she named the ducks. So um, Ori is Korean for duck, and uh, we called the other one Duri because Duel is two in Korean. So it's like basically duck and second duck. Not very imaginative, <laughs> but Ori and Duri sound great, na like great names. <laughs> but, but they learned their names, and oh, was, uh, we used to shout at them in Korean. <laughs> but I used to say Ori, Duri, get down. <laughs> when they were in the flower beds because they knew they weren't supposed to be in the flower beds and they would quack 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 they jump down and get back on the lawn and then it was wonderful crumble, crumble, crumble. <laughs> oh where am i going uh trying to find a thing i uh, don't know be i've been asking that for, for years now beacon now beacon, now beacon. Uh, we're, we're, at, we're at concordia now muscovy ducks mm. Yeah, I would have if I had a big enough garden and a pond, I would have ducks again in a heartbeat. They were wonderful, but I built them. So I got home from work. Right, this is all true story. Right, I got home from work, and my current my my, my ex wife, then why say my my current ex wife? What? But um, she she gotten home, and there was a in in the village where I lived, there was a sign saying ducks for sale. So she bought two. They're like a fiver each or something like that. And I got home from work. I was working in Cambridge at the time. Got home from work and then there was just her sitting in the garden, like beaming at these ducklings and like, look, look. I was like, we, they're ducks. Why have we got ducks in our garden? Did they fly in? No, I bought them. I'm like, what? 
You bought ducks, okay. Right, where are they gonna live? In the garden. Oh shit. No, they can't live in the garden. There are foxes around here. They'll get killed. So I went upstairs into, a, into my office and researched like mad to find out who their natural predators are, how to protect them, what kind of things you need to do. And I was like, the more I read, the worse it got. It's like, how are any of these still alive? Like foxes will have them, rats will have them, anything can kill them. So I, I built them a duck house to keep them out, uh, you know, safe out the elements and keep them safe from uh, foxes. It was a like really tough uh, duck house that I made. It got like mesh, all around it, fox proof, rat proof, because rats will nibble from underneath. So I put down mesh and like really thick wood and then I put um, polystyrene sheeting and then some more uh, wood on the top of that. And then they had obviously their bedding that they would um, sleep on. It had a fold up roof so I could put them in and it had a flat down door at the front, which I put roofing felt on because I watched them trying to get in after it had been raining and they were sliding down it, trying to get back in. Oh dear, but yes, they um, they go to bed when they're told. They they were brilliant. Loved them. Are they a good way to annoy the neighbours? Uh, don't think so. They they don't. They're, they're not they're as not, annoying as geese. Yeah, <laughs> and, or chickens. They're, like they're not like roosters. They just um. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not that. They're, I mean, you know, all ducks they're quacky. They're not actually that quacky. They're certainly not as noisy no. as chickens. No, 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 not at all. Um, they they do make the garden smell a little bit because they try and crap everywhere. And if you want to stop them from flying away, you have to cut their feathers on one side, and then they can't fly away. You don't hurt them. You just cut their feathers, so they they're fly in circles. circles yeah <laughs> it works works perfectly well i was worried that was gonna have to hurt them to like keep them safe uh, it's like but you don't you just uh, i read up online I, I know loads about keeping ducks now <laughs> but they were lovely they were very cuddly as well oh, you could cuddle them teeny ducks yes well you know i did down Go but no, they they, uh, they actually I, it, I did ducks <laughs> if, if you if you hug them from like an early age they will they'll get used to it and they, they, oh, they actually yeah, quite like it yeah, a lot of living things get used to being hugged by humans, bloody humans. Yeah. <laughs> or always right. doing the hugging there's, thing. There's no high grades here. I'm not seeing any high grades. Uh, hunting for uh, high grade emissions, Dresden. Mm. Yeah, I'm just top, filling up my mats. Top of his, uh, his uh, magic Remlock handbag. <laughs> Duck grooming. Uh, <laughs> no. No, they have done that themselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were lovely, though. See you then, Tragic. Oh, take care, matey. But yeah, so like two fresh duck eggs every morning. And they were, obviously they were both girls, the ones that, that I had. Well, so, I should hope so. Yeah. And, I'd be and, worried otherwise. But like every single morning. And duck eggs are massive. They're, they're oh, way bigger than chicken eggs. Very and they've got this very rich, rich. Yeah, yes. rich flavour. It's like when I have my breakfast, I normally have two two eggs. And uh oh, who's that? I normally have two chicken eggs, but like I only needed one. <laughs> oh Infwell's here. Hey Infwell, how you doing, bud? He was probably here before waiting for you. Uh, for has he hours. found he's found an encoded emissions, but he hasn't found a higher grade. Not really. Who dares interdict me? <laughs> you know who I am. So effective, Victor. Mm hmm. Oh, we used to have duck eggs, best eggs ever. Yes. I, I guess the only things that would be better, maybe, is if you could actually uh, keep ostriches in your garden. Because not only will they <laughs> lay eggs, but they also protect your house because they're very territorial and they'll gut a man. <laughs> they're nutters. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, let's, let's get Infoil into... Oh, Infoil and Epaphos are in a team already. 
Can you invite me to your team if you're doing things, guys? What are you doing? There's a purpose in here as well. Uh, you, you've been excluded. Sorry, Al. Oh, I say. I say. What am I carrying? I am carrying a... Limpets. Yeah, that was Monday. It's still listed. Ah. Uh, the recent events. Oh, you're not engaged. Oh, not in I the see. Game. <laughs> Weird. So, see. what's going on with Infoil then? Oh, derp. Derp, derp, derp. See. I was on. I was on the history tab for some reason. Yes, I know. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh, you just dropped into a high grade. On my way. If you accept the thingy, I'll come to you. Although, that's that being said, uh, uh, like if I turn up and just hoover up everything, you'll be like, but this was my high grade. Where are you? That's enough for two handbags full, probably. Uh, let's see where you are. Oh, you're behind me. Dun, dun, dun. Well, we'll we'll spend probably another half an hour um, tonight on stream. I do have a busy day tomorrow, but um, I've had fun tonight. We didn't have a plan, so we were, t we were talking about the new Mandalay ship, which is lovely looking, and um, hopefully, uh, hopefully they fix that like mirrored texture problem on the other side before release. But um, and that's quite funny. But yeah, so I did I did a um, Gaussian splat scan of it, and I did a normal three um, um, D photogrammetry um, of it to try and get a look at it. So I wanted to be able to rotate it around. I've I've shown it off probably too many times today. Uh, but uh, it was a lot of fun doing that. For all oh, right, yeah. So forty minutes it took to to render that video into a Gaussian splat. Forty minutes. And it difficult. took it took all night to uh, for my personal photogrammetry software to um, turn it into a model. Did not expect that. How hard does it learn to do all of that? Uh, piece of cake. Because all you do, all you need to do, is uh, press a button. Uh, you just need to know about the the subjects and know that there's either websites or tools to help you with that. And if you can throw them a video or several images, because that's the other thing. So the software that I have is, um, any good tips if it gets stuck in tutorial in Elite Dangerous? Which tutorial? Oh, where's, where's, hang on. Um, Brain no. has gone smooth. Uh, stuck how? <laughs> Uh, any chance of a quick, quick peek for late viewers? Certainly. As I'm on the way to info else, I'll stop my ship here. I'll show you. So the, the so we are getting the new ship. I'll, I'll, I've got some photos of it for those who haven't seen it. So this is dropping in October. This. So we've seen this one, right? You've seen this. The sneak peek. I don't think you were supposed to see this. Um, it is going to be this beautiful ship here. Right, so this is the this is the Mandalay. Absolutely gorgeous new ship, and it's an explorer. So it's got the same cockpit as the Mamba. It's a Zorgon Peterson ship. It's got vectored thrusts um, for landing on high G worlds. And uh, so, I mean, it just looks like it looks beautiful for me. Really nice ship. Um, so, she does look good if you want three now. Right, so so I did this uh, Gaussian splat thing here. So I I have a video of this. So Frontier sent me a video like of this so I can, uh, yeah. I mean, it's just begging to be scanned into an object, isn't it? It's just begging for it. The only thing that was difficult is the fact that it's shiny and that throws off photogrammetry software, but it doesn't throw off Gaussian splats. So I can, so I, we can have a look at all of this stuff, right? And see what the engines kind of look like. Fr from a distance, it works really well, but, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Through the gray fog that it thinks exists because of the gray background. 
Uh, but yeah, look at this. So these are the vector thrust engines. These move down. Uh, it's just got loads of little details. Look at these. Look at these wings. Oh wow, it picked these up. These little wings here to get to help stability through atmosphere. I'm guessing. Uh, and so down there at the bottom, that's where your um, where your landing ramp will be. And this cockpit here is the the cockpit from the Mamba. Uh, it's two seater, so you've got your your seat at the back there, and you've got your your seat at the front. It's going to be a lovely ship. Look, look how beautiful this is. Right, this is not a copy pasted from anything else. This is beautiful. Like well done, Frontier, for this. And if we look, if we think about this, right, we've been regularly getting new ships now in Elite Dangerous uh, for this, like most of this year. Uh, when so when the Python Mark II was announced, that arrived, and then straight after that, the Type Eight, which I'm flying now, got announced, and then that arrived. Now we've got the Mandalay, which is coming. Then they said at the beginning of the year. Uh, Oh, I think it was in like April time. That there's going to be at least four ships, and uh, Power Play um, Two was coming. So there's another ship to come. We don't know what that is yet. So this is I'm really excited by all of this, and I hope, I really do hope that they keep this momentum going because that will be so cool to keep having more and more ships added to the game. Look, because look, it worked for Star Citizen, right? There's more ships that you can shake a big stick at in that game. Why not on this one? The universe is very rich and mature. We could have loads more ships. So that's what I would like to see. And I think we're close to being able to get that. So unless they're like, unless the people at front are like, Scorp, stop. No, no, no. We only plan four. No, stop it. You'll get them all excited. No. Uh, what's the hard limit? Oh, there is a hard limit how many you can store per place. It's 40. Uh, I think it's 32 on a carrier, on a fleet carrier, for your stuff. But you can have multiple stations with uh, multiple ships in them as well. So you can have loads over here, loads over there. This is where I keep my belugas. <laughs> oh, carrier's 40 as well. Okay. That's a lot of ships. 40 Type 9s. Or type tens. There is a limit on the total. Is there? I didn't know there was a limit on the absolute total. But I think if there, if they have a limit on the total, they need to address that. Obviously, storage costs money. So having a big database of everyone's stuff costs money. So, uh, and if the game is making money, then they'll they will be more inclined to spend more on the game. The get a carrier just for your type 10s. You can only have one carrier, that's a problem. Only one. I mean, it's a bloody carrier. It's huge. It costs billions and millions a week to run. Hey, Biondo! You have 141 total ships. And only 23 cutters. <laughs> I'll behave! Why, why is this military courier vessel interdicting me? This is a navy! Oh, yeah, it's in a war zone. Go away. Leave me alone. Ooh, come on now. I guess spent so much time waffling about things I forgot that don't you know there's a war on yeah there's bloody carriers everywhere you can filter them out though Seed Roller you can filter them out and they're you know they take time to move around and stuff I, I quite like them as a concept I don't like the paying on a week by week basis as a concept though I've always railed against that I think it should be um, some other way of doing it. So, what we got here then, eh? Military supercapacitors. Ooh, I think uh, I think I'll take some of them. You don't need them. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. So, I don't think you lose anything. They'll decommission it and you'll get all your money back. Cheers, bud. Oh, that's a nice shot. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was wondering what that sound was. <laughs> Well, so you want to you want to run carriers in space like an NCP car park. Uh, they're collecting stuff, so they're fetching all the things back. Uh, if your carrier decommissions, you lose all your stored items. I didn't. Oh, do you? Didn't know that. That's a bit rough. I don't have no, I, no because idea. my argument has always I been. Uh, I think I unlisted that video anyway, but my argument has always been life happens, right? And you have no idea whether you're going to be able to be playing for the next three months. And if you haven't got enough money in your character to keep carrier to keep paying the bills, it's really demoralizing, especially if bad things happen. Like people become homeless, people get cancer, people, there's all sorts of things that happen. And while they're fighting that, they're probably not going to be wanting to be playing a video game. But once they once they have and they've sorted things out, maybe they want to come back and like do things that they enjoy again. And that's really hard to do if they've had a big kick in the nuts from the game itself. I I, I really don't think it was a very good idea to to do that. And I have said so loudly in a video about it. Yeah, I mean, it got. Oh, this is encoded. It did get a decent amount of views that video, so people are aware of my feelings on all of this. But they did it anyway, so it is what it is. You got any, another one? Onwards, Buttercup. <laughs> yeah, I have my I have my views on it. Oh, hot points. That's probably what's wrong. I can keep putting my hard points out. Oh my. Four, three, yes, that's right, Foggle. Exactly yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, it does, Martin. Yeah, it does. And you should be able to take a break. And what this should do, instead of like decommissioning, decommissioning your carrier and you'll lose everything, they should park it. They should come along and park it for you somewhere else. Keep all your stuff on it. Keep everything else going. Uh, and all you have to do when you come back is hire more people. They just put it in the parking zone. That would be fine. You know, and then if you choose not to come back, fine. But uh, it should never be like, oh, well, all your money's gone now and your carrier's gone. We took it to pieces uh, and now you don't have that anymore, nor any of the things you had stored on it. Uh, and I think your ships get sent to a station. But welcome back to the game. Yeah, welcome back. We stuffed you. <laughs> oh. So, anyway. I don't want to get grumpy about that today. What have you got there, mate? So I couldn't see any high grades. Unless I'm just getting bloody blind. This reminds me of a load of... Oh, Paphos. That's wonderful, mate, if you've got those. Park it in some random system out of the way. Entire crew leaves. If you want to fly it again, you have to pay a maintenance fee. Yeah, get it restored, usable state. That was that would be fine. That would keep it in in law as well. They they all they do is um, 
they would have it like removed from the list of carriers that are accessible and need to be processed to move. So that cuts down on all the background processing that's necessary. So it's no problem, is it? Well, the parking system and it's permit locked unless you've got a carrier that's been decommissioned. <laughs> that would be easy. You can only get into it if you've got a ship that's waiting there. Well, yeah, I, I, I think that the permit easiest locked. option, the easiest option is the is the best normally, and that's mm -hmm. it, it. Just gets dragged out somewhere and left, and and yeah, there might be some repairs to be done. But that'll be fine. You go in some money and it's still there. It's yours. And then you repair it up and and then hire a new crew. In fact, you could take your crew on a beluga. Go pick up your crew. Take it out to your carrier. Wouldn't that be cool? Store them at racks so that you'll only get it back if you find it. This isn't helping. <laughs> now, I like the recrew option. I really like that. Oh, sounds like the fan on my uh, stream PC is acting up again. I've got to take everything to pieces and fix everything. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that fan? Like, Arr. or is the noise gate killing it? It's mostly killing it. Echo Spark, mate, you take care. Yep, see if I do. Oh, Sea Dweller. It's actually a system named Turban that my carrier was parked in. Nice! Oh, it stopped now. Hero of Goth! Everything I read about Raxa is leading to believe that you can only find it with the Anaconda from Hutton. <laughs> probably. Very probably. Yeah. <laughs> you have to go there in a sidey. Oh, but that, that's the thing we spoke about the other week. If you do travel to Hutton Orbital in a stock sidey, you should be given a bobblehead, which is an anaconda. You should, yes. You, the, here is your free anaconda, and yeah, you can put it on your. You put it on your ship. On, I I went to Hot and Orbital, and all I got was this bobblehead of an anaconda. Bobblehead, yeah. But and it'll be a special bobble bobblehead, because um, oh, you can get a bobblehead of an anaconda, can't you? But it'll be a special one with the Hot and Orbital something on it, like a trophy. Bug. Yeah. yeah, that would be really funny. It, like, it'd have a hot and orbital plaque on the bottom with uh, the yeah. uh, bouncy anaconda on the top. Needs to happen. The only way you could get it as well is if you do the hot and right. run in a it stock be, sidey. It could be unengineered. It, it mounted. The base of the bobblehead could be a little mug. Oh, yes. Like little mug and the anaconda. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. wonderful. That wonderful. Wonderful idea. Of course it could be done. Anything could be done. They just need the will to do it, really. And, and you know what? It, it fits in with the lore of the game, and people will be really happy with it. And it just goes to show, like, because... Right, so the Hutton, oh, the Hutton truckers are one of the most passionate groups of players oh, in the game, yes. right? So, to the point that they they organise uh, events still to this day. So, ECM was mostly Hutton truckers, uh, and it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, for those who don't know, ECM is uh, Elite Community Meetup, and there was one this year, and it was wonderful. Loved every minute of it. Absolutely loved it. Right, just put that thing, wrong button. Absolutely loved it. And um, there will be another one next year. Uh, and also there's a the Burr Pit of doing a, a convention next year as well. So PitCon. 
that'll be at the beginning of the year. But like, so, but every year for years and years and years and years and years, since the, the, the game first came out, there's been an ECM, apart from when COVID happened. So there was ECM and then there was LaveCon, which is their sister thing, Lave Radio. So Lave Radio did LaveCon, ECM was pretty much the hot and truckers. Wonderful. What's that? It should be easy if you fuel at a Aldin Prospect in Alpha Centauri. Should be possible. Yeah, you'd have to figure it out, wouldn't you? If you want it, you'd have to figure out how to get it. And you couldn't use... Um, it'd have to be a stock sidey. So maybe you could A-rate your FSD. That'd be fine. But no SCO. Oh, well, then again, an SCO sidey would not get you there. You'd run out of fuel. Military super... I'm full of those now. I'll add them to the ignore list for now. Anything else in here? Nope. Military supercapacitors are all filled it up. Nice. Alright. So we've got all of this stuff. I do need to get so if we want things like um like germanium and oh where do I get grid resistors? Where do we get those and things and stuffs? Yeah, but uh, I guess just getting the thing there would be um the trigger. I'm I'm putting the thing on it. So have to be have to be you can only get there with the help of the fuel rats. Yeah, you don't want to depend on anyone else. Some players just want to play in single player, solo mode, we'll go out there and achieve that. It's a trophy. Trade down, they're so cheap. By she. Okay, so what else we got? Higher grade emission finder. We have um, run this. Pharmaceutical isolators. I know I need these bloody things. Right, where have I got any of those? I say I know I need these. Where are they? Pharmaceutical. I've gone past it, haven't I? I've got none of them. None of them. And, and I fired up a heatsink. So let's see. Where can we go to get pharmaceutical isolators? Let's see. Uh, we're, we could go to Svent. Svent. Let's go to... How far away is Svent? For my pharmaceutical isolators. Sounds like a game you play in The Witcher. Well, it all depends on what direction you're coming from. Right, Doesn't it's it? 257 away. light years away. Is there a closer place? How about we don't go to Svent because it's really far? How about we go to uh, another one? Uh, hang on. Guan. Uh, is there any others? Guan Za. Guan, Guan, Guan. How far are you? 77. That's much better. Let's go there. Ah, uh, you know you will. Guan, 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 Guan. 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 If there was a system called Guan, 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 that would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be hilarious. You will. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put them away. You have to make sleep noises. You take care, matey. Thanks, Spooky. See you around, matey. <laughs> right, let's go. So it's only a couple of jumps, I think. Or is it one? It's six jumps to go. How's that six jumps? Am I on economic? You got it set to economical again, yes. It ain't that far, is it? It's only 70. Go on, man. <laughs> Nil by my mouth. How you do, bud? Ah, then. <laughs> and then. Yes. The thing oh, is, though, man. like, from time to time, Frontier do a thing where you can um, win the chance to name a system or a station. I have actually named a station in this game. Let's see what we're set to here. I don't believe that this is doing this right. Trade route settings. Fastest. Oh, but yet it is still. Yeah, replot it. Uh, I mean, it's fine, I guess. 
I didn't think it would need that many. It's only... Unless I'm doing 10 light years a time. How many am I doing? Well, it looks like it. Ship is doing 18. Uh, that's, it's about right, actually. I'm doing 18. That limpet controller. Ooh, it's yes. a doozy. It's a doozy. Have clockwork. Yes, your finger, you fool. <laughs> that would be spectacular. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, it would. What's that? <laughs> Oh, my, my, my ones aren't rude. Like, we've got one called, um, I think it's Gwydion's View or something like that. And it looks over all of Empire Space. <laughs> it's right at the top. It's cool. S still yet to use that in a video, Jen. Yes, yes. That's how we did, really. Yeah, we've had it since, uh, was it the last LaveCon? No, 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 it wasn't that one, it was the one before. Yeah, it was so long time back. But it's like, putting it in, I, I mean, so far everything's over radio, isn't it? Uh, or, the last time you did something like that, it was like, you went to Mars High, and, um, you met him in a, in a marketplace. Oh, here I've got. Thank you for the follow. Yes, that's right. Went down to the planet and met him there. Yeah. In the, uh, the Starstone Industries Museum. Mm hmm. Met him in a shabby backstreet marketplace that sold noodles. Four, three, two, one, eight. All right. So. We, it shouldn't take us too long to get here. This hasn't felt like... I've not felt like we're grinding tonight. This feels like we're going to places uh, and scooping up bits of things of, uh, we've broken. Here of Goth, thank you for coming along tonight, mate. Thank you for that follow as well. That's awesome. We'll be back next Sunday at 8pm. So that's when we normally stream Elite. So... 8 p.m. UK time, I should say. Well, they're in September now. It's going to start. British summertime will be over soon. Oh, it's depressing. It's going to start getting dark sooner. I, and then going to get wetter and colder. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like it nice and warm, but not too warm. Hey, you're never bloody up, are you, are you? Yeah. I like I, I it warm. Not I too like warm. I like to be know, happy. Cold. Happy, but not too happy. I'm all a right with a bit, bit sad. Wet, not that wet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. I've gone fuzzy again. It's your eyesight, mate. It's because you got. It's because you're grumping. You always go blurry yeah. when you grump. It's this camera. It's it's a Logitech um, camera. But the only way to turn off autofocus is to install their crappy software, which tries to take over everything, including Discord. It's like, who wrote this shite? <laughs> Logitech, obviously. Uh, drive charging. But yeah, if the normal driver does not have an option to turn off the autofocus, it's shocking. Unless there's a new one. G Hub is awful, mate. It's it it tried to take. I had to uninstall it. It wanted to take over everything. It wanted to. It literally tried to mess with all my sound settings and everything. And it's hard enough as it is as a streamer to keep your sound settings in in some state of repair. Hey, base nuka. What are we what are we on about? On about the Logitech software, because my camera keeps getting blurry. Now, now, now. We don't have that. Logitech owns. Does it really, though? Good kit, <laughs> bad software. I can speak from personal experience. It wrecked my... my uh, it wrecked my setup. I had to Logitech. uninstall it all. Yeah, 
my favourite mouse oh. is has always been Microsoft mice. Yeah, they're they're pretty good. Yeah. I haven't got one at the moment. Though. I've got HyperX, of mm. course. It's all HyperX, guys. Yeah, my key uh, these days I'm using all sorts of different stuff. I don't see why I need to have a dedicated piece of clunky software in order to set a simple setting on a camera. That should oh. be part of the driver. Yeah. I don't yes, see why indeed. it needs to be all integrated with everything in order to set a simple setting on a camera. It yeah. doesn't make any sense. I'm a software engineer. Like, this just makes no sense. It's total bloatware. It's total yes, bloatware, it yeah. Total bloatware. But, anywho... But yeah, this um, keyboard, I think the HyperX keyboard I've got here is uh, from the Control Alt Space video competition, mm. actually. They changed the mouse Same DPS for one. every game. Still been using it all those years. Yeah. I also don't like how I need to use the GeForce experience to download drivers to keep my card up to date and have oh, to I log don't. into the bloody thing. I know you I don't. don't because you don't I, update your drivers. I just, whenever I remember, I just go and manually download a driver. I, don't I, have, I do all sorts of things. I was a contractor for years, so I, I write, I write C sharp code. Experience. I do all sorts of things. I've done games in the past as well, but like for the most part, it's business software. That's just business. Hence our Jira conversation earlier. <laughs> Let's get in this here. I'm nothing personal. It's just business. Oh, you play YouTube box with me, really? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I had fun making YouTube box. That was years ago, though. I, I, it needs updating. The compulsory login and then Firefox tell me the password was what? Exact, yes. Oh uh, God. That's why I never use it. I just I never I never forgave them for, for screwing up Shadow Play. Mm. So I am damned if I was gonna install their GeForce experience just so I can access that. So I just, it get just the, sucks. the drivers from them and nothing else now. It's overreach really. But mm. it just give me the damn drivers. Here's a list of your games. I don't need you to be my game launcher. Yeah, but we'll make you dedicated profile for your game. It's not your responsibility. It's, if I want one, I'll ask for it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like if you want something to be stable, and this is this is a thing. Like, re advice from a software engineer: if you want your system to be stable, keep it simple. <laughs> because the more bits you have. Buggering about with other things, the more chance there is that something's going to break. Windows might break something, and then Scotty the whole thing falls apart. <laughs> the more they overthink the plumbing, the easier it is to stop up the drains. <laughs> but it's, it just winds me up. So like, why you, why do you want this? Oh, no reason. You want a walled garden? You want my stuff? No, we're trying to help. We're being we're being helpful. No, you're not being helpful. You want my stuff. You we're being you want my data. Fast. What do you need my data <laughs> for? Why do you need to know? Well, because you know, we might need to know how many cards there are. You can ask Steam. Get the Steam report. Yeah, but they, they don't know everything. It's like, are you going to sell my data? That's exactly right, no. Horny. Exactly right. <laughs> hey, Horny, how you doing, mate? The Excelsior Transport Grave. We're not going to sell your data. Then why do you want it? Hey. <laughs> yes. So, basically, Luca says, "Do you think the Elite Dangerous Oops. code is good or bad?" I've not seen any of it. I've not seen their code. It's what just. It's just gut feeling, though. The uh, way the way it runs right now, uh, works fine. It's quite stable. The only problems that we seem to have lately are issues with the adjudication servers and things and that's totally different code. Uh, that's running yeah. multiple servers. Uh, when I last spoke it to Dav about this... It is remarkably stable, I have to say. But they, they have different servers, like for when you jump from system to system, when players join your instance, there's different servers kicking in. So, like, we when we're playing in a, in a, you know, a team or something, 
That's peer to peer. That's all, just our computers talking to each other. But they have like the equivalent of a lobby where someone jumps into your system and, and it shares the IP address that, that it's going to with, with the other computers so that you can communicate. And but then when you got your transaction, you got your transaction servers, you got your adjudication servers, you you got your the servers that do your missions. There's quite a lot that goes on, and I don't know how um, they they are individually. They do their own things. They'll use an API to provide uh, a facade that you can say, "Do this thing," and it goes, "Okay, I've done the thing." But um, sometimes these go wrong, you know, for one reason or another. So, it's, it's, and the game engine itself seems robust. It wasn't very good at handling uh, the on foot stuff. They had to do a lot of work to make that, that work better. It's still not perfect. But think about what this is trying to do. It's trying to present uh, a world where you, you, know, you can fly anywhere, um, do all sorts of stuff on foot now as well. It's hard. Normally, if something is working really well in your game, it's been optimized to hell. And all optimization means is it's missing out the steps that it doesn't need, that keeps the things it does need. It's like, I use this all the time. If you want to optimize counting from one to a hundred, if you want to do that as, as quickly as possible, do you really need the two, three, four, five, six, seven bit all the way up to 99? Or can you say one, 100? Because if those extra steps aren't needed, you're wasting resources, right? So it counts from, from one to 100 and it's, it's a few steps as possible. One, 100, all the other st steps are implicit, right? So, and it's the same for games. Only draw what you can see. That's a really fast draw call. Brrr, draws all the things. There you go. You turn around, there's nothing behind you because there's, there's no geometry there. But then it starts becoming a problem because things start casting lights and shadows from behind you. So you need to send all that geometry as well. Then you've got things inside of buildings that you might be able to look through windows. So you need the internals of the buildings as well. It gets really hard. And the more geometry there is, the more the graphics card's got to do because you don't want the CPU figuring out what it can see. That's old school. So, you know, it's really hard. Game development is not easy. Yeah. And it's not a question of, oh, just optimize your game. There is no optimize game button. What have we got in here? Pharmaceutical isolators. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have re reflections of what's behind you as well. So that, that's, that's a really good point. Because um, imagine a driving game, right? So... Driving games put tons of detail in front of you, right? Of what's in front of your car, the road, the signage, the people, the houses, the mountains, all that stuff. But if you've got a rear view mirror, what do you show? Well, do you render that entire scene again? So the uh, one of the reasons why the GTX cards were so good is they could do parallel um, transform and lighting and produce another scene. So you could have, depending on the card, you could have like up to eight or 16 scenes being rendered at the same time. So you say, here's all your geometry. Here's all your lighting. I want from this angle, I want this angle, I want this angle, I want behind you. I want my, so imagine a car. I want the rear view mirror. I want the side mirrors. I want what's in front of me. And I want some things to the side as well so I can have an environment map on the car and show reflections. Loads and loads and loads of stuff. Because it's all cheating. Like there's no, like only the RTX cards really uh, provided the horsepower to do proper ray tracing or, or path tracing. So all lights are faked, all shadows are faked. And we're still trying to make these things look realistic. The magic is that uh, if the door uh, is defined as a portal and the vertex order is backwards, it knows for a super cheap test that you're behind the house. Yeah, you're talking about windings over there, aren't you? So, so that's just about the faces. So if, if you have a clockwise winding on your geometry, it knows that the normal for that face is going that way. So that the this is the face you can see, that's the invisible face. So it doesn't render both sides. But um, 
But there's ways of optimi optimizing that even more than that now. Oh, we've got all of these. We've got a hundred of these now. Awesome. Yeah, there's ways of optimizing that. So instead of just sending out, uh, like, so you want to minimize your draw calls as much as you can. And I'm not an expert at this at all, by the way, but I just know a bit about it. You want to optimize your draw calls, let the video card do as much as possible with as little work as possible. Because often they render the same scene multiple times with different passes for lighting, reflections, all sorts of stuff. Uh, right, so that's the pharmaceutical isolators that we've got. Loads of them now. I had none. We've got loads now. What time is it now? It's gone midnight, though. So I did say we'd spend another half hour doing this. Um, you I'm know taking what a little bit better. Pharmaceutical isolator is. Uh, no. It re really stinky weed, you know, the, the skunk variety. Really? Yeah, because if you smoke that, you are isolated and it is pharmaceutical. So there you go. So basically, you're scooping up really stinky weed. Okay. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do now, so uh, Infoil is taking the rest of the pharmaceutical isolators because I don't need them. I am going to go to the nearest station and I'm going to dock because I think I'll continue this next time. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm not finding this to be particularly grindy. I'm filling up my mats. I'm doing a thing. I'm role playing as a salvage guy to get the things. Because really, I want to start building some fun ship concepts. I'm no I'm going to need some data. I'm not going to need to like trade down a little bit with the with the um, the dude. And um, but right now, I just care about how easy is it to get this stuff and to have a nice chat while we're doing it as well. So I'm going to go to the local station because I'm sure there is one. Yeah, that sounds about right, Tedder. <laughs> gonna dock. Gonna go to Hammond Gateway. What's that? It's that super dank perp skunk. What? Dunk. Perp skirt dunk skunk. Oh my god. That's a. <laughs> I'm, it's midnight here. You're throwing complex words at me. <laughs> You're flying a spaceship. If you can't say a sentence like that, you've got no business flying a spaceship, honestly. That's, that's rubbish. That's false equivalence. <laughs> so you're saying that mute people can't fly a spaceship because they can't say the words I'm saying, I'm saying you're saying that flying a spaceship is, is, <laughs> is easier than saying super dank perp skirp dunk skunk <laughs> flying a spaceship is easy yeah <laughs> it is <laughs> Yes, so flying spaceship is easy. Saying those words is hard. I'm sure the many people have said that about Scorb's flying spaceship before. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's uh, that is true actually. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you go off some people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I've had a really good time tonight. Yeah, it's been not grindy. No, I've enjoyed doing this. I've enjoyed talking about uh, the new ship in Elite. Oh, and yes. It's been really good fun. Uh, showing things from a new angle and discussing what's coming and all that stuff. It's been really positive. It's been a really good night. So thank you all for that. I'm going to land in this station, and then we're going to see who we can raid. Has anybody got anybody who you would like to see raided? I mean, I've got my uh, people who I follow, but I'm more than open to uh, people if you like them, and I might not like them. So feel free to suggest. Otherwise, I'll have a look see who's streaming some Elite and then send it over there. I think Stargoid is still streaming, so I might send you over there. Stargoid's fantastic. But I'll see if there's someone else as well, because sometimes some of the smaller streamers uh, appreciate, you know, a, a big. Uh, oh, Celine streaming. Okay, actually, I've not raided Celine in ages. Not for a while. Uh, not for a while. That's a good point. Uh, Esdion, I don't know who Esdion is. Hey, OP. You would suggest as okay. Chat wins. I'll. I'll. Uh, I don't know who Esdion is. Uh, oh, Celine Soon Star Citizen. Okay. I'm not sure if when my PC will be able to run Star Citizen properly because they've they've upped the requirements really for the optimal experience. I'm due for a rebuild anyway, but 
I need some things to calm down in my life so I have the money to build a PC. <laughs> oh dear. So come on, are we nearly there yet? Let's go. All right, so Esdion. Let's, let's go and raid Esdion. I do like this uh, ship though. The Type 8 is fantastic. Oh, it is indeed. But I honestly do think though that I'm probably going to want that Mandalay as my main. Depends on what we're doing really. Because I don't like the Anaconda. I'm sorry. It's it's great and it's good at everything. I think that's why I don't like it. Oh, let's say what they say on the on her channel there. The next ad break is five minutes, and that was ten past. So if you turn up in two minutes' time, you'll be in an ad break. <laughs> now nah, we're gonna we're gonna raid Esteon. There's been two people who've suggested Esteon. So yes, that's what I'm saying. On her channel. <laughs> oh right. So you better hurry. You've got like a minute before there's an ad break. <laughs> And how long's the ad break though? We might stick I around until no the ad might stick around until the ad break is over. So let's see. Let's see what Esdion's doing. So we might just stick around for a little bit until the ad break is over. Um, going to um, going along for the trip to the Heart and Soul Nebula for the, the Oh, memorial. doing some exploration. Nice. All right, so. Okay, the ad break has not started yet. So I want to thank all, right. all of you for coming along today. It's been absolutely <laughs> lovely. You've been absolutely fantastic. Thank you for all the follows. Thank you for the subs. You've been brilliant. You really, really uh, cheered me up today. I, I, I was in a good mood anyway. And now I'm in a better mood. A better mood. So let, we're going to raid Esdion. So get your hashtag blame Ascorbius in chat. And let's... Um, let's... Let's get ready before 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 the ad break. We're racing the ads, right? So have a good time flying with us. I'll see you on Saturday, Sun Sunday, Sunday. Might see you Wednesday as well. Well, we'll see about that. Um, but like, we'll be playing some more elite on Sunday. So I'll see you then, eight pm. Have a good time flying with us. Look after yourselves, and we're getting ready. Press some buttons. Getting ready. Are you ready? Get your hashtag blooming school is ready. Get ready. Get ready. We should have a we should have a thing ready for that. <laughs> A button or something. All right. Take care. Bye-bye for you now. like your buttons. Bye. I do.